tad bit. Alrighty. And I believe we are now live. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And welcome to Chicken Invaders Universe, a Rise to the Top series. I am, of course, Cass. And today, ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday. And we all know what that means. The start of a brand new week. Oh, crap! Oh, all the homies are here in the, uh... In, what's the name of the star system? Stink, I don't know. Um... Sidero. Sidero. They're here in the star system of Sidero with me. We've got Plasma X, Liam UK, Calm Data, who I don't know, and Zoze. So cool! Welcome, welcome, everybody. And uh, thank you for tuning into the stream today. It's good to see y'all here. Um, yeah, it's a brand new week. We got tons of new stuff to do. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna be competing in the new Galactic Cup. So I'm gonna be flying that mission. Might not actually do that first, um, but I am gonna be doing that at some point during the stream today. Secondly, I need to move on to a new star system because this one's all complete. And, uh, and so are the ones around me. So I need to move on to somewhere with new missions and new things to do. Secondly, for my quests, I've done almost everything. I still need to kill enemies, and then I'll be finished with Jander and move on to Ensign. But I also need to use the Lightning Fryer weapon, which I don't have. So I'm going to buy that and slowly but surely upgrade it. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but in order to upgrade weapons cheaper than at the market, you should go somewhere that has like, uh, ooh. Oh, hey, there's one of those droids. Oh, I could totally sell my food right now. That's tempting. Anyway, um, wait a minute. You don't sell food to droids. You sell food to, to food stores, like this one, to Space Burger. What am I thinking of? What do you do with the droid? Oh, you have droid missions. That's right. I'm an idiot. I forgot, I forgot how the game worked for a second. Anyway, yeah. Um, I think you need one of those, like, hardware stores in order to get, like, the best price on upgrades. Like this one, right? Yeah, so we'll go over here to this, uh, star system right next to us. We'll use the hero wear. We'll get the lightning fryer. And, uh, upgrade it cheaper. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Pidgey, he says, uh, you bet I am, because I asked if everyone's ready to fight some chickens. Welcome to the stream, Pidgey. Arnov says, hi, what's up, Arnov? Welcome to... CIU. <laughs> Emerald Burps is hello. What's good, Emerald? Ed Argans. What's up, Ed? Liam, he says, hoping for less retro this time. Uh, there will be some retro, because we got like four retro waves over here. Or four retro missions, excuse me. So there will be some retro, but otherwise far, far less than last time. There won't be like 10 plus. Plasma X, what's up, Cass? Yesterday I sent you an Iron Man loadout. I saw that, and I appreciate that, dude. I'm not going to get to Iron Man this episode. We're going to save that for next episode. That'll actually be in the title because like Iron Man's gonna be like the headliner event that I'm doing next stream. This one though, I'm focused on the Galactic Cup one and doing missions and assigning them to the squadron for another. And the quest, of course. You need to have a lightning fryer for your quest. Gonna buy one. You can go fly the qualification phase for Galactic Cup today. Yep. Also compare me because why not? Eh, maybe later. The Odor, welcome. Hi everybody, what's up Odor? Sozer Starisk Elite of Rockstar says hi. What's up Sozer? Welcome to the stream. Hero wear for cheaper equipment. I thought so, Liam. Thank you for clarifying that for me. Okay, so I'm gonna go here, first and foremost. Interstellar Highway, yes please. Oh man, I love having uh, fully upgraded thrusters or jets or whatever they are. Just so nice to fly around so quickly. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Do I have any weapons here? They do. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so here's the Lightning Fryer. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade that. As high as I can, which is gonna get expensive real quick. I told you, I dropped like 4,000 keys on that, but that's okay, because we need that for our uh, our missions. Our quests, excuse me. Uh, CIU on Android should be coming next week officially. After that, we should be getting new content again. That's exciting. I'm so excited, we're gonna have new updates. Um, I don't know, new mission types, enemies, weapons, who knows, who knows? But yeah, it's exciting too, because we're probably gonna get a huge influx of players just from it being on the Play Store. Mm. Chicken Lord, welcome to the stream, sir. 
When you stay home from school, because you actually get more schoolwork done at home. Dude, isn't that the truth, though? That's why I liked being homeschooled for a good majority of my, uh, of my schooling years. Anyway, let's go to a new star system that we haven't done missions for. Specifically this one. I'm gonna have to buy some oil first. You know what? There's a gas station right down here, and it's right next to a space burger. So let's go here first. We'll sell our food, get some more keys. We'll stock up on gas for a while, and then I'll move over to that star system. Oh, maybe we can even do some droid missions. What do you guys think? You wanna do like, not a bunch, of course, but you know, a couple, a couple of droid missions. That could be fun. Um. Oh, then again, wait a minute. I've been here, I might have done these droid missions already. Okay, doesn't matter. We'll, uh, we'll check anyway. Travel to star system. Oh, and you know what? I actually have enough oil to get here. That's even better. Fantastic. All right, Space Burger, here we go. Version 135 will be out before Android as well. Oh, great. Easter in May, apparently. Yeah, yeah, late Easter celebration this year. Droid Rage, yeah, droid raids are fun. Oh, hey, everybody's following me. What's up, guys? <laughs> or they still want to sell some food. Wait, buy souvenir? Oh, yeah, I forgot you can do this. Traditional world saving hero cuisine. I don't want to buy any of this, at least not right now. Maybe later I will. All right, sell all food. Wait a minute. I got to do the math on this. 25,689 divided by 1764. Yeah, 14 and a half per keys per. No, 14 and a half food items per key. I want to make sure I wasn't getting ripped off. Okay. As long as it's around 14, that's perfect. Medal awarded, sweet. Raid droid, I've done all these. I knew it, because we've been in the star system before. What do I get medals for? The UHF hereby awards you Grill Hero, award for selling 10,000 units of food at once. Oh yeah, 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 I forgot that's the thing. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, so, ooh, that's right, space station. Not space station, gas station. Gus's gas. Very nice. Large fuel pack, yes please. I'm gonna get me... I'm gonna stock up for a bit. Let's get 5,000 units of fuel. That way we'll be good for a while. Okay, and with that done, let's go all the way over to here. And uh, get started on this star system. 127. Apparently off-roading it over here isn't an option. Although it'd be more expensive anyway, so it's for the better. Exploration re reward, Aura. Cool, this is the closest planet. Oh, it's a frozen wasteland. Oh, this should be fun. All right, who's ready for a frozen wasteland, ladies and gentlemen? Loyal ambassadorship. 14 waves at 82 to 96% difficulty. I hope you're ready for it. Uh, real quick before we get started, I gotta go ahead and swap out my weapon loadout. The lightning fryer, can't forget the that important step, right? Thank you. Good stuff. Hmm, excuse me. All right, are you using the cash chicken mod? Uh, no, I'm not, Pidgey. Buy lightning fire and upgrade all at hero wear if you can. Done and done. Or if you're lucky, you can find a shady dealer. That would have been cool. I didn't see any shady dealers around. I guess I didn't really look them, did I? Oh crap, wait a minute. I swapped weapons, I didn't mean to do that. It was just instinctual. I gotta use the lightning fryer. Oh crap, wait a minute. I probably need to use it for the whole mission, so I probably wasted it this time. Cash, don't pick up any weapons. Right, right, I gotta do it for the whole the whole mission duration, that's right. It's just instinctual, you know? Oh, present, pick it up. Okay, so far so good. We have turkey invaders somewhere. I'll bet one cent. That'd be cool. Turkey invaders. Oh man, probably over in Turkey. That's where it is. That's where Turkey invaders is. Whoop! Oh man, that's a lot of. Thank you very much. Hey, three lightnings. Let's go. Let's go. I gotta pick up food. I sold all my food. Turkey invaders will be real on the Thanksgiving update this year. Awesome. Oh, 
Oh boy. All good. All good. Just moving around, moving back and forth. Oh, we got all the we got all the peeps in here. We got Pidgey, Arnov, Liam, Argans, Plasma. Where's Dennis today? It's rare to see one of the two of them without the other. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a little close to the edge there. Oh, that got crazy really quickly. Real Windows Electronic, welcome. Who wants to bet the name of the game was inspired by Space Invaders? Hmm, I wonder. Nah, couldn't be. Welcome to stream, Windows. Collecting the coins and the keys. Nice. Good job, guys. Almost everyone is rocking BXs here. Yeah, but BXs are kind of the kind of the grand old. The grand old tanker ship, you know what I mean? Samsung Tab says hi. What's up, Samsung Tab? Welcome to stream. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That took out some, took out some of the homies. Oh crap, dude, dude! There's so much stuff. I can't even see the fruit. I can't even see the fruit. All the bloody fruit. Oh, that was a carrot. That's t technically a vegetable. Okay, there's people blowing up all around me. I don't know how I feel about this. I think I want to feel it a little bit more. Let's go. Let's go. Good job, guys. Woo! Reem Muhammad, welcome. I hope you'll unblock AG No Glitch 888. I won't. Never ever. Ah. BX is spam. Yep. All gobs and gobs of them. No, Ahmed Gouda is banned permanently, along with the rest of the Foolish Five. Whoop. Blue Sands is hot. What's up, Blue Sands? Oh, crap. Dang, Nabbit. I was doing so good, too. Oh, oh no. And I switched over from Lightning to, to, to Boron. Oh, well, it happens. It happens. What can you do? Boron Moron, right? Right, Pidgey? That's what I am. I'm the moron moron. The sad, the sad thing to be, but here we are. <laughs> KJ1, welcome. Why do assignments expire so fast? 48 hours. Can't last forever. I guess that's true, Emerald. I don't know why that is. KJ1. I wouldn't mind if they lasted a little bit longer, but. Really, though, how long can they last? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, I like the, uh, I like the fro frozen asteroids. That's a good touch. I remember for a while it didn't feel like, uh, the asteroids really matched their environment. Cosmetically. Like, you know, the cold area versus the warm ones. This is neat. It's cold in space. Yeah, it does. It does get cold in space. Bye-bye. Amagood is a second account where he plays CIU, so he's plays nice. That's nice. Good, good for him. GG, guys. Woo woo. Adrian bathroom dance. Let's go. Hey, William gets it. Woo! Scoopmeister, fried chicken, right? <laughs> right, Scoopmeister? Good stuff. Oh, weak dares last longer than assignments somehow. Really? Weak dares last longer than assignments? Thanks. Well. Hey, those shouldn't, well, then again, if weak dares expire, that really hurts your, uh, your, uh, Shoot, what's it called? Ewa. I think, yeah. 
something like that. All right, mission number one is done. Assign that to Geese and Cheese, and now we're gonna move on to one interdict. That's a weird name. 30 waves at 88 to 100%. If you thought the last one was challenging, you have not seen anything yet. GG, thanks, Reem. My bro is miss you. Oh, well, that's too bad. So don't keep bringing it up either. I don't want to talk about it. Anyway. Mm. Surfing the wave. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, fun and in the dark, no less. All right, I'm gonna be extra careful to try to not pick up any other presents this time. But it's 30 waves, so that's gonna be difficult. Dorkness. Yeah, lots of it. What the music they have in the darkness levels. Gives everything that proper creepy feel. Uh-oh, no BF? Nah, I don't have a BF. Darkness should have a different song. You don't like this song for Darkness, Pidgey? What would you prefer it be? Doesn't have a chicken invader skill to it. Well, that's true. That's true. It's not particularly chicken invaders ish. But then again, it's definitely not unique to chicken invaders. I remember playing, uh, one of those licensed Scooby-Doo games growing up, and one of the levels had this exact same soundtrack. So if you like, remind me sometime and I'll pull it up and show you the exact level in the game. Guess after this mission, rejoin the league. Yeah, I do need to rejoin the league. We start doing uh, dares again. Lag go burr. Oh no, is a stream wagon? That's my aim. Whoop, bye bye. Bye bye. Dream says, so I hope you accept AG Null. He say is say he's sorry for all things. Hey Arnov, will you do me a favor and ban Reem from the chat, please? Um Arnov says, oh so might disconnect and can't join, so man. Oh, that stinks. Sorry to hear that, dude. Commission's 2db for... What do you say? For a new song for darkness? Maybe some crap! Dang nabbit, these stupid spaceships! Ah! Railway charity, that's just humiliating. Yeah, the whole Amaguda thing is annoying at this point. Oh yeah, that whole, that whole group of, of uh, people is just annoying. Dang nabbit, I picked up another stupid present! Ah! <laughs> That's what's really annoying. Oh well. Short mission for the quest, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I guess it's just too difficult otherwise. Oh well. Not every mission is, is 30 waves, thank goodness. <laughs> like Boss Rush. Hey, nobody ever said the quest would be easy. Oh well. I can go ahead and pick up other presents now, I guess. Dang, Nabbit. Oh no, that wasn't me. Oh shoot, that was not me at all. That's one of my buddies. Sorry, sorry dude. Whoop. Oh, fine. Oh, fun. Attack of the giant suns. 
And in the darkness, no less. The problem with this pink bubblegum gun, it, uh, what you calls it. Overheats. It overheats too quick. That's what you would call it. Now this, on the other hand, laser? Laser's not too shabby these days. Sort of. Alright, 80%. Let's go. We got this. Oh, crap. Nice. GG, guys. I'd say GG, but we're only, we're only a third of the way through. Mod menus seem to be a lot more common today. That's true. It's for the better, too, in my opinion. Frozen plus darkness is kind of redundant. You think so? Oh, because the screen is still covered up either way? I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I call it outright redundant. Because it's not exactly the same effect. It sort of serves the same purpose, though. So I guess in a way it is. Boniasi, welcome. Hey, Cass, do you know if you press Alt F4, they'll reveal a funny secret? Uh -huh. Yeah, nice try, buddy. <laughs> welcome to the stream, dude. Uh. Wheel of Fortune, oh no! Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Oh, I hate, I hate that, that way. <laughs> Just rocketed it to, to pieces. It was like best case scenario right there. Good call. Good call, dude, that's all I'm saying. Hey, I'm hogging it. Oh no! Well, I, I guess I kind of deserve that, huh? <laughs> I guess I kind of deserve that one. <laughs> oh, I love this game so much. Yeah! Stop that overheating, son! Woot woot! What just happened? A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff's happened, bro. Whoop, 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 whoop! Hey, thank you guys for 11 likes on the stream. Appreciate you. Nice and spheres. There we go. Much better. Perfect. Yeah, give me the power up, son. Claw spheres. Yep. Little claws circles. Squadron Cyber Award! Hey, good job, guys! Oh, stink. Oh, there's more. Whoops. Out of nowhere. Um. Oh, it's one of. Oh, I see. It's one of these. Arnav joined one verdict. Nice. Oh, crap! Dang, Nabbit. Why'd I do that? I know better. Yeah, they really do come out of nowhere. Okay. Well, we survived through that, sorta. Oh, stink. Okay, this seemed to work out. Mother hen ship, here we go. Here we go. Nice. 
Good job, guys. Woo! Okay. Still have 15 lives left, so I think I'm all right. There is no way you'll be able to 100% uh, Baldi's Basics franchise. The plus game randomizes everything all the time. Like Minecraft. Oh, okay then. I guess I'll do all the other objectives then to my, the best of my ability from the time of that series comes. Uh, Liam says, if you didn't see what I said, my brother is studying for the final so he can be here. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. Thanks for letting me know. Hope he does well. Oh. I mean, that was nice, but it didn't, didn't really didn't really protect me from overheating as much as I would have liked. Oh, nope, nope. <laughs> There's one left. Palpitating grid. Here we go. Oh! Guys. Oh, crap! Dang, nabbit! I was going over there to get the food, and I didn't see those other metal ones run right in there. <laughs> Dang, nabbit. Now I'm back down to six power up. This is sad. I don't even feel confident about the... Cut the Galactic Cup qualifying round now. So far, so good. Well, there are countless mods and fan games released every day for it. Oh, sounds like uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Not to mention the games are extremely difficult, not close to impossible as it is. Mm. Sounds like a challenge, all right. And never let it be said I sh that I shied away from a challenge, though. Unless it's like one of those stupid challenges. Like beat Dark Souls with the Donkey Kong bongo drums or something like that. <laughs> Dang it. Lightning is... is ricocheting off everything. Lightning doesn't ricochet. Yeah, whatever. It's conducting off everything. It's just not going in the direction I wanted. Chaining, that was it. That's the turn, thank you, Pidgey. I could not think of the word. Uh, William says, also the day I play a darkness mission with the group is the day Half-Life 3 comes out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Fair enough, I really can't blame you. I really can't blame you, there's a... There's a certain level of What's the word? Once again, I'm at a loss for words. There's a certain amount of sadisticness one must have in order to do group darkness missions. There we go. You should play it as soon as possible then so Half-Life 3 comes out, yeah. Get on it. Get on it, Liam. Get us Half-Life. Whoop. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, look at that food. Just look at it. GG, everybody. Adrian bathroom dance time. Where is Adrian, anyway? Probably off making cool art. Hmm. The missions themselves aren't bad. It's maximizing the score. Hmm. Best chicken invaders with the least amount of points possible. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. I'll sign that to Yees and Cheese. Let me check my mission configs. I'll bet you I'm out of supplies. Coolant canisters, yes. How are we doing on lives? A little bit low. Okay, I'm gonna stock up at the market. Extra lives, get me some of those. 
couple more things. The coolant canisters, thank you. I need to watch my uh, overheating a little bit better. Okay, failing netball. Oh, let's check quest real quick too. <laughs> oh, I haven't even done it once. Okay. Kill the specified number of enemies. I'm slowly grinding, it's still gonna take a while. Uh, this one's got 21 waves. I'm probably not gonna succeed, but I'll try. This one has five, and so does this one. I'll bet you anything I could do Lightning Fryer for these two missions. This one probably not, but let's try anyway, right? Let's, let's, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Theodore says, hey guys, I have a question. How do you get past power level eight? Um, in Chicken Invaders Universe, you have to upgrade your ship. Um, and get a different ship, Theodore. Basically, the starting ship that you start with, the HC-101 hatchling, it has a power limit of eight, so that no matter how many power-ups you pick up after that, you'll just still be locked in. But if you get a BX-9, like the one I have, your power level is, uh, it's either 20 or 18, I'm not sure exactly. Of course, then again, I already, uh, I already died, so. So I'm probably not gonna hit it any time. 18, okay, it's 18, Plasma's right. Thanks, Plasma. So yeah, save up your keys, homie, and uh, hit up a hero where so you can find you an upgraded ship. Oh, thank goodness. It's not gonna survive that one. All right, so far, so good. Photon. Yeah, Photon's good, good weapon. I like the Photon. I like a little Photon first thing in the morning. Oh, boy. And it's always scary when they start spamming the rockets. Because you know the balloon chickens can start falling on you. No! What do you mean, no? Oh! Oh, crap. You saw it before I did. I didn't even see it. Dang nabbit. <laughs> I told you I couldn't do it. Oh man. Hey, we're making progress though. We're making that good old quest progress. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Got penalty, aw. Lame, Arnoff. Oh, it's this one. Oh, I hate this one. All right, this one's the worst. Like legitimately in Chicken Invaders 3, this was the hardest boss for me. Like, I could not figure out those purple pellets. I got better at it as an adult, and it actually didn't seem that bad, but when I was a kid, oh, this was the bane of my, uh, this was the bane of my no death run trophy. Again, again, when I was like 10 or 11 or whatever. Emerald says, need to buy a different ship. Yeah, Emerald's got it. Oh boy, BX is really good. Yeah, it's just slow. That's the problem with the BX. It's a great ship otherwise. It's not the only option though. Uh, I had the the M. What was it? M8 something? Whatever it was. I had it for a while and it was excellent. I still have it. In fact, I use it for missions that require a faster ship. Um. Anyway, it's very punishing if you struggle to maintain a high firepower. Yeah, punishing as in slow and leaving you vulnerable to stuff. The more versatile option would be the mower. That's it, the mower. Yes, it's more versatile. It's more of like an all around, jack of all trades sort of ship. Not the highest power level, but higher. Not the fastest ship, but faster, etc. Et and then the VF, as far as I've, I haven't used a VF, but as best I can tell from people who have it, its big claim to fame is that it's evasive because of how thin it is. You're less likely to get hit if you're going for a no death run on the mission. I can see that being advantageous for certain things like, uh, again, Galactic Cup. Uh, 
BF allows you to see in the dark. Oh, what am I thinking of then? BF allows you to see in the dark. I must be thinking of a totally different ship. So VF would be for darkness missions. That makes sense. Make sure to rejoin week. Oh yeah, I forgot. Forgot Plasma, I'll do that at the end of this one. BFs are also sweet. Environmental resistance. Ah, makes sense. BF is the fastest spacecraft model. Oh, so environmental resistance. Faces, so best for maneuvering. Okay. I can see the appeal then. Probably be the next ship I got, just cause next ship. They'll probably be the next ship I buy, just because I don't have one of those yet. Not just that, but if your firepower is low, you might as well be fly flying a fat slow. A fat slow more. Google Translate translated this game's title to Fox Invaders. That's weird. The benefit can only really shine if your firepower is high. Makes sense. Unless you gotta be picking up those orbs. My firepower is at level 19. Just just look at this. Just look at all this beautiful. Beautiful damage I'm causing. It's glorious. Now, granted, the overheating gets annoying, but otherwise, the VF Raisin Raven has the most satellite slots. VF 76 Raven has six satellites. That's cool. As opposed to the standard five on uh, VF 9. That was a good. That was a good. Uh, that's a good mission. Not that it's over yet, mind you, but we're we're. I'd say we're about there at this point. So we get past these asteroids. Whoop! I mean, we can handle one little boss battle, right? Eventually, you will need most of the ships for the quests. Oh, really? Oh, cause you have to like fly certain what, certain waves with certain ships. That makes sense. Ow! That looked the easiest boss ever. GG, guys. Well done. All right, good stuff. So, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and rejoin League, like Plasma kept reminding me to do. We got two more missions for this planet. I'm gonna go over here and do the four remaining retro missions at this wormhole. And I'm gonna fly the Galactic Cup qualifying round. But first, let's rejoin Weeg. You sure you wanna join Weeg? Your previous points will be reinstated minus a small penalty. Yes. Y you. I got a ways to climb back up, don't I? It was nice they kept our score for us though. All right, guys, so uh, whoever wants to send me a dare, go for it. A lot of you are probably out of range of me right now, though. I'll work at it, though. I'll dare some of the people around me. We'll get back up there. In fact, maybe we'll do that uh, later on in the stream. But first, I gotta make some progress on this lightning fryer. And what better way to do that than with some really short five-wave missions? This would be good for yees and cheese, too. Oh, hold up, let me check out who's already done these. Liam and KJ1, props to both of you guys. Uh, but Alan Becker is still making his stick figure animations. I don't know who that is. Um, there's a quest for flying missions with the M408, but that's 13 ranks above your current one. Guess what, <laughs> it'll be a while, won't it? Look at the VFs in the shop. Let me do that real quick, Pidgey. Ooh, VF Starling, VF 76 Jackdaw, VF 76 Raven. Ooh. I'm guessing that's the, uh... okay, so this one's a little, this one is the heaviest.
but it can carry two more satellites. It's got four more slots. Oh, but it's got a lower power limit. That's only eight. Features droop, snoop, fast and nimble, hardening against frozen and massive environments. Slightly less nimble still, hardening against frozen, massive, hot, electric, and darkness environments. So, this one is basically environment proof against anything. That's why you're going with the lower power limit. You're getting more satellites and slots to make up for it. I'm definitely gonna have to pick one of those up at some point. I could very well just pick it up right now, but I'll I'll wait. I'll wait and see if we can get like uh you know, like a, a legendary one somewhere. Get a hero wear. So if any of you uh find a legendary uh VF Raven 76 and a hero wear, please send the coordinates my way. I will buy up some fuel and make a special trip for it. Uh, they look cool though, right? Oh yeah, very cool. Very cool indeed. Also, I reached the highest milestone in quest. GG Plasma, good for you, man. The penalty for rejoining is 10 points. Oh, that's not... Well, no, that's, that's pretty... That's not great, but still, it's fair. It's understandable. Oh yeah, since you've left, I'm fourth in the league? Whoa, really? You are? Good job, dude. Dang. Where am I, huh? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty far down there, but hey, I'm gonna work my way back up. I am. I'm gonna get back up into the top 100. I was in the top 50 at one point. Okay, but first, let's do a perfect championship, shall we? Ah, somehow. Hey, good for you. That is extremely shocking. You should watch his animation sometimes. Maybe I will if I get time. Nice. 660-256 is the cords on the current legendary sheet. Oh, okay, awesome. Thanks, William. I'll check that out when we get done with this mission. Oh, this one. Oh, crap. I think, I think he's, I think he's trying to pick up the present so that I won't accidentally pick him up. Appreciate, appreciate that, homie. <laughs> Very thoughtful. All right. One boss battle, here we go. It's a mother handship. That took our no time at all, in less than a minute. Woo! Let's go. GG, guys. And there you go. There's one mission down. Just got to, uh, six more to go. <laughs> I just lost 12 points today? Oh no, Emerald! That's lame. I went to that hero where it's gonna cost a thousand fuel. Ugh. Okay. Well, it's a lot, but it, it might be worth it. I don't know, a thousand? Hmm. Let's see, what was it, 664, 253? Six. Oh, that's really far away. Oh yeah, right here. Oh yeah, there's even somebody with VF66 in his name. Wow, it's even more than that, it's uh... Oh shoot, I lost it. Oh dang, Nabbit. 664 by... Two 
Here it is. 1353. Do I really want to do that? Uh, yeah, 4,800. You have 4.8K. Why are you being stingy? <laughs> That's true. I just didn't want to blow it all in one go, though. <laughs> buy it. Buy it. Everybody's telling me to buy it. You have over a thousand. Oh, everybody else is going over there now. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Oh, no, he's, oh, I don't even know where he's going. Oh, man, four unexplored star systems in the way. Wow. I'm surprised they didn't move the cis tray to the notification center to reduce clutter. What are you talking about? Wyoletta Debrowalska says, hello. What's up, Wyoletta? Welcome to the stream. Okay, uh, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. There you go. All right, and here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, your boy Kess is buying a new ship, and we got an exploration award for Hebe. Very interesting, there's missions we can do here as well. Uh, probably not going to, though. Probably gonna go back after we buy this ship. VF Raven, legendary. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you looking that up and sending it to me. Okay, and it is 583 keys less. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, exciting. I'll have to get some uh, equipment for it or just switch off of my BX9. But that's awesome, guys. We got a Raven. I am stoked. Okay, good stuff. We'll, uh, we'll use that on some next and some more in bit. We'll use that on some environmental missions and test it out. Uh, for now, though, let's go ahead and go on back to... Do I want to go all the way back here? Where I was? I mean, I do, but... I think I want to do these retro missions as well. It's right near that wormhole, so we'll go ahead and go back there as well. Uh, real quick though, is there any gas? Can I buy some more gas before I leave? Is there a gas station here? There's a space burger. And there's a hero where there's no gas station though. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll get gas later. I still have plenty even even after going back. Lord Rila says hello. What's up, Lord Rila? Welcome to the stream. Compare the speed of it to the starting ship. Oh, let me do that, Pidgey. BF Raven, um... Hold on a minute. Let me just pull it up here in the dealership. Ah! Okay. Speed is 10. And then this is 16. Oh no, that's maneuverability. Where's the speed then? Or is that what or was that what you were talking about? Dang. Paint it? Uh maybe later, Plasma. Arab Valorant Highlights says, hey, I've been playing for two years and never reached your rank ups. <laughs> really, man? Dang, I've only been playing for about a year myself. Welcome to the stream though, it's good to see you. So I've been uh, slowly grinding my way at, slowly grinding. I, I cannot talk this morning. I'm gonna have a sip of water, that's my problem. Mm. What is the game called? It's in the title of the stream, Chicken Invaders Universe. 7, 6, 719 to 364, that's the speed. I am not seeing that. Where are these stats that you're talking about? I don't see speed, I don't see, I don't see none of that anywhere. That's cool though. 364 to 719, so basically, almost double, almost double the speed. Yeah, that is the speed, cool. Slowly grind your way up, there you go. Slowly grinding my way up, thank you, Era. That was what I was looking for. Speed is maneuverability, okay. Okay, that's what I didn't understand. Oh, hey, the squadron assignments are coming in. Hey, nice, Liam and KJ1 already going at it. 
Good job, guys. Okay, uh, wait a minute. This, this says it's important. Um, new contact, AG, no. I don't know who Tord is. I'll take Tord's invite. Oh, AG Noel's invite's gone. Okay, good. All the better. Uh, Liam, new friendly match. Ooh. Darkness, new league dare. Let's do this. Let's do, uh, let's take Darkness's league dare. Go ahead and start with that. Four waves, difficulty 100 to 100%. It must beat score 7,029,431 to win the dare. Ladies and gentlemen, can I do it? I guess we'll have to find out, won't we? Uh, Darkness, here we go. <laughs> oh man, Anonymous Legend says, yeah bro, what's up Anonymous Legend? Arab says, I've been banned for no reason because my account has been compromised, unfortunately, so I have a month ban. Oh, that's lame, I'm sorry to hear that. Darkness7403 versus Kess Gaming. Swooping sweep. Okay, here we go. Whoop, nice try. Nice try, gentlemen. I applaud your efforts, but no, 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 no such luck. So far, so good. Satellite flyby. Portal shotgun. Ow! Unfortunately, I know exactly what that means. Yeah, it means those little group enemy spawns. That's not so bad. So far. Okay. Grab some of that, please. Thank you. Nice. Clean sweep. Mother Henship. Randall for all, welcome to the stream. Tord says, hey, welcome Tord. Good to see you as well. Uh, Randall, I'm gonna read your message here in a minute. I'm in the, in the middle of something. <laughs> trying to prove my skill against my very first Dare after being joined back in the league. So far, so good. Perfect. All right, GG, guys. Halfway through. Four more to go. I'm gonna pause and take a sip of water. Mm. Anonymous Legend says, bro, add me also. Send me a contact request, I'll add you. Randall for all says, I have arrived home happily. No more drills for now. Time for two weeks off from school. Awesome, man. Hope you enjoy your little break from school. All right, I'm enjoying your stream. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Lord Rilla. Rowindo says, people seem to be getting banned a lot lately for the most ridiculous out of all reasons. Some game developers with multiplayer support took it upon themselves to ban people simply for swearing. Well, that's unlikely to happen in a game like Chicken Invaders Universe. Unless it's like, malicious type swearing. I could see them ban, I could see IA banning somebody for swearing at another player. But this isn't really like your your Call of Duty-esque type game, you know? So this game only bans you for cheating. Oh, okay then. So, well, to be fair, that's really the main thing that you shouldn't be getting banned for. At least for cheating. I wish, I'll tell you one game that needs to ban people for cheating, GTA Online. Squadron Assignment Reward, this good. Nice. Unfortunately, he used a cool one, but other than that, that went pretty well. Dazzling coordination, KJ1 is flying, failing netball. You are on the ball today, KJ1. 
appreciate your dedication, homie. Oh, uh, tell me something, guys. Does dares count for missions towards the quest or, or not? Quad Speed, welcome to the stream. Just joined, what did I miss? Um, not a, not a whole lot. I'm currently doing a Chicken Invaders Universe dare. Trying my darndest to keep it together. By keep it together, I mean not die. So far, so good. I think. Alright, here we go. Focus on the core. Nice. Let's go. Woo woo. Okay. Let's see how we did. 4FX, what's up? Hey, Adrian's here. Time to do the Adrian bathroom dance. Let's go. What's good, Adrian? Welcome to the stream. Um, there's a shady dealer selling fuel relatively close to you? That's awesome, Emerald. Where's he at? 704-376. I will go buy some fuel from Shady Dealer. What? I didn't even get close! I got destroyed! What? What? Why? I didn't die or nothing. Why did I do so badly? Was it the weapon? Was I not being efficient? Was it the food? I don't know. Ah! Oh, apparently, apparently a lot's changed. Or I've just forgotten the intricacies more like it. Well, that's disappointing. Good job to darkness, though. Oh, man. Uh, I do Liam's next, but I, I, I want to do something else now. We'll do Liam's later. Okay. Anyway. Uh, dares do count, and eventually there'll be fly competitive missions quests. Oh, okay. Good deal. Luckily, friendly dares count towards those. Oh, fantastic. I'll do your dare in a little bit, Liam. Uh, for the fly comp missions quest, we can help you by sending friendly dares to each other. Fantastic. That's what we'll do. If you have an alt, you can ping pong friendlies to grind it. Ah, that makes sense. You didn't even grab any weapons, did you? No. Was that the problem? You didn't pick up a lot of the gifts and food slash coin pickups. That explains it. Ah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, that would have that would have added up. It's because he gets power ups, and every power up is four to six to sixteen k points. Of course, I should have known that, but I wasn't thinking. I was just like, oh, we'll just hang on to the lightning. And I didn't even think about that. Ah, that was on me. That makes total sense. Oh crap. Why did it just pull up the Bing search bar? I didn't ask for that. You stupid computer. There we go. I fixed it. But doing it in comp is basically throwing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. I guess I'll know for next time, won't I? So you missed some of those. Makes sense. The joy of major in-game updates. Right? Warfex says, hey. Randall says, I did buy patches and ranks for like 10 bucks. Currently have the ranks of private and ma to major general. Pretty hard to find as a city. Cool. Good for you. Ruin says, next time bring magnets if you fly a Derekess. Oh. Magnets and a tractor. Okay. It's a good suggestion, Ruin. I'll go pick some of those up. I think Plasma told me to do that before, and then I forgot about it. <laughs> Sorry, Plasma. Uh, what would that be under? Mm. Appetite attractor? Is this what you're talking about? Tractor and perishables. Yep. Get some of those. Egg repulsors. <laughs> Need to remember to hang on to those too. Um, let's see. Emerald sent me some coordinates for fuel. 704 to 376. How cheap is this fuel though? 704 to oh, I'm going that way anyway. I think. 704 to 376. Thanks, Emerald. 
Why is my ex new friendly match? 704, 373. That's probably it. Is this where the shady dealer is, or did he leave? Oh, Emerald's there. This is definitely the right place. I don't see a shady, though. I'm guessing I dawdled too long and he left. <laughs> Most likely. Or is he over here now? Oh, yeah, there he is. There he is. Okay. Off road. Let's go. Been in nearly another thousand fuel to get there, but it will hopefully be worth it. What? No, I don't want to compare goofball. Inner orbit. Here we go. What's up, Shady? Wait, where'd he go? What? He left! Dude, I was just getting ready to barter! You imbecile, why? He's moving to the next. He's moving to the next star system. What a piece of crap. Okay, that's no big deal. No big deal. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just meet him there. I will meet him there. There you go. Where's he going? Where are you going, little dude? Come on now. He's still leaving. Emerald, you sent me on a wild goose chase. Why are you doing this to me? Ah! There he goes. Maybe he's sold out on fuel. Maybe he's going to stock up on more. Okay, well, he's gone. He's he's gone. I, I can't catch him. Dang, Nabbit. Now I, now I came all the way over here for nothing. Ugh. Okay, well. I'm going to go back over here where Arnov is, do some retro missions. it has been a major bummer. Wasted a bunch of fuel. Lost the dare. <laughs> Hi, Cass. What's up, Loe? Good to see you. Oh yeah, Cass, can't wait till you touch the Resident Evil series. Oh yeah, that was on a poll recently. A uh, spoiler, it didn't win. Also, you should practice how to get pecking order using the peck order HUD before you do comp missions, because they really make the difference. Okay. I'll do that, Pidgey. Where is the peck order HUD? Might as well buy it, right? Oh, crap. Pecking order revealer. Shows the correct sequence of kills required receiving the pecking order bonus. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go back here now, travel to star system, off-road. I swear, I just, I stocked up on so much oil, and now I've practically used it all. Oh well. Let's go to a gas station, grab some more. Hey, and you know what, the good news is we did get a VF Raven 76 out of it. So that works out. 10, K, 10 keys per 100 fuel, cheaper than any Gus's gas. Yeah, that is a good price. You lose because I see you missed too much coins. Mmm. 10k points lost for each. Keep going on. You can do it. Magnets will help you a lot. Okay. I'll practice. Get better. We'll do better next time. No way, right? He's going far, running away. Didn't expect the shady dealer to start leaving. Like, he, he just, he left. He he went multiple, he went multiple star systems away. He ghosted with me like a bad date. That was basically that interaction. He really picking up the speed. I just couldn't even catch him. There's still a gas station nearby now. I'm over it. I'm over it. No. God, no Resident Evil, darn. Yeah, sorry, Randall. You have to wait a while yet. But there's new. There's other new series coming to the channel. Yeah, let's not. Otherwise, you'll be spending the whole episode chasing dealers like you spent last time doing retro. Yeah, exactly. Now, I am going to do these four retro missions, but these are, <laughs> are going to be the only ones. Um, we're going to start with Closed Contortionists. Nine waves of retro goodness. Quests. Two out of seven. Not bad. Um, yeah. Let's do it. Squadron assignment reward. Woot woot. And we got some keys for exploration. Whoopee. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hmm. Use the VF on retro, because it's a massive environment. You'll be really speedy. Oh, okay. I'll try, uh, I'll try that after this one. Pidgey, the next three. Like what series? I'm curious, but too lazy to go check, so name like two or three. Uh, not gonna do that, Randall. Get over your laziness. Click the homepage channel of the... Click the homepage of the YouTube channel, and look at the upcoming live streams tab. It's right at the top. 
because it, it's totally worth it. I made trailers and everything to promote the new series, and there's like three already available out of five that are coming up, so go watch them. The Forest Half-Life. Don't give the answer away, Pidgey. You're ruining the surprise. If you return, the constellation with the frozen planet is a gas station at 819-176. Oh, okay, thanks, Emerald. I use music with Minion Rush Japan Robotics theme. Good for you, Aurelius. Oh, he says, hi, cats. Welcome back to the game. Thanks, Loe. It's good to be back. I've missed playing Chicken Invaders. I'm glad they give us a few keys. Since retro waves have never been big on keys. I can't lie, I did assign a ridiculous number of retro waves last stream. But then again, we found a wormhole with 10 of them. Well, I didn't have to do all 10 in that one stream, did I? I, don't, I have a bad habit of like getting into that grind mindset and just like, okay, I'm gonna do it all. I'm gonna like go down like a checklist. It's just my way. I gotta learn to break it up a little bit, right? That's what I've been doing in the Saints Row series that I've been playing lately. Yeah, I've just been like going to like one thing, doing a few things, moving on, going over to something else. Just, you know, hopping back and forth. It's made it a little bit more fun. Also, there's gonna be another Saints Row stream tomorrow if anybody wants to uh, check that out. Anyway, but that's for tomorrow. Today, i chicken wings. And a lot of it, too. Still gotta check the third one on the channel. Oh, have you not seen the third one, Pidgey? Oh, no, no, you meant, uh, you meant Randall had to see it. Yeah, you only gave two out of the three new series. Yeah, he still has to check the third one. Uh, I didn't realize you can have trailers for streams, nor that you can schedule streams, considering streams are live. Oh yeah, Windows. Yeah, you can put up uh, pages in advance, you can put up trailers. You can really hype those things up, because they're events, right? It's like premieres. Premieres have a page set up before it's set to go live. Streams are the same way. was uh it was not the fire was not destroying that piece like I wanted to OA says my name is Hero Brian and please like multiplayer games all persons nope multiplayer is contacts only not all persons also Hero Brian um are you on my friends list Pretty sure you are, I'm pretty sure. Please accept me in the contacts list. Your name is Hero Brian. Are you, uh. Wait, well, wait, are you. Don't take this the wrong way, but are you related to Ahmed Gouda at all? You and him have any sort of affiliation? Because he goes around with Hero Brian as a username himself. Uh, next thing you know, there'll be premieres for shorts. <laughs> premieres for shorts? That sounds terrible. I mean, you could do that, but that just doesn't even work. Um, he says, yes, you are related to Amaguda. Okay. In that case, I'm not accepting your contact request. Sorry. Um, Emerald Burp says, how come I see the amount of waves in a retro mission on the multiplayer list? I don't know, Emerald. That's a good question. I know it shows it like at the intermission screen, but on the multiplayer list, I couldn't tell you. All right, this next one's gonna be one of five. Oh yeah, use VF, that's right, Pidgey. Um, let's, de let's take off the booster real quick. The heat sink, reactor, all the important stuff. Stick it back over here on this. Put this here. Put this there. Put this. Wow. We gotta go back and unslot everything else now. There you go. Oh, 
Oh, that's right, there's an extra swan. I can buy another satellite for this. Flagship needs a reactor. It's not the flagship anymore, okay? You're not the beautiful one anymore, dude. Get over it. You're not the new fancy toy. Gotta learn to accept this. <laughs> okay, I I'm kidding, guys. It's a joke, calm down. <laughs> okay, for real though, I need to buy another satellite. Let's do it. Let me sort satellites first. So, oh, he says, why, I wanna play with you. Okay, I changed my name. It's not, it's not about the name, dude. I don't wanna, I don't want to play with Ahmed Gouda and his little friends because you guys always start drama and nonsense and all that crap. And I just don't wanna deal with that on the stream. So, sure we, okay, I'll tell you what, Loe. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a chance. All right, I'll give you a chance, because I'm pretty sure I play with you before. I don't remember you ever being a particular problem causer. So I'll tell you what, I'll accept your contact request, and if you're cool, you know, if you're not joining missions and begging for chicken hunter license and plugging your crap and all that nonsense, if you're cool, you can, you can join us, all right? I think that's fair. Hero Brian, here you go. Um, don't make me regret it, you know? <laughs> That's all I ask. Okay, so, did I buy another satellite? Yes, yes I did. So let's go back to the fleet. Stick this in here. And, let's do it. The environment is massive, okay. Five waves, here we go, guys. It's one off, ah, right. Unmount everything, let him get used to it first. Unmount everything? Oh, you don't want me to use the satellites? Oh. Oh, unmount all. Oh, I didn't even see that button. Yeah, I, for I forgot that that's, I always forget unmount all as an option. I just keep going through and systematically unclicking everything. Okay, thank you, you're welcome, Loi. Uh, Chimanya says, play Gmod, spawn 10 nukes. Now my PC exploded. Now I'm using potato as my gadget. Well, that's lame. Sorry to hear that, Chimanya. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, 10 nukes and Gmod blew up your computer. <laughs> oh, boy. Welcome to the stream, Chimanya. Apparently, Dr. Sabetso. Is considered a game for MS DOS. I'd never heard of that game. Got to go. All right, Lord Rilla. Good having you here, buddy. I'll see you at the top. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, we got 16 likes on the stream now. Thanks, everybody. I meant to say everyone, and I changed it to everybody at the end. So that came out weird. Hey, no why. Oh wow, that was short. That was short. Oh, it's uh, it's the big Easter Island alien head. Who doesn't love that, right? Who doesn't love the good old Easter Island head? Okay, so far, Raven's pretty solid. Can't complain. Yeah, like look how fast it is. It's great. Oh, this is awesome. Yay, Adrian bathroom dance and style. GG, no damage, none at all. Hey, and I got more progress done on the quest, even better. Which is strange, considering that Dr. Sabatso is merely a primitive 1990s AI. Well, you know, some people consider that, like, that thing that's like a Talking Tom ripoff, but it's like PewDiePie. Some people consider that a game. I wouldn't. But, you know, people have different definitions <laughs> of what a game is, I suppose. Alright, so five more waves, and then 17 for this one. Alright. Two more retro missions to go. Uh, let's check our quest progress, shall we? So we are about 500 away on the kill enemies uh, objective, and then we have three more missions to go. So hypothetically, if I did these next two retro wave missions and then went back to this star system down here. No, not this one. This one. 
and uh, went back to that frozen planet and did the last mission over there, we would be done with the quest objective. So that's what we're going to do. If I can't, if I can pull that off. Oh, man. Then I think I'll take a break and fly the Galactic Cup qualifying round. Do a couple of, uh, a couple of dares. And then we'll find some more missions. Whoop! Whoop! Nice. Five waves. That seems pretty easy. Once you've played for long enough, the VF's environmental resistance perks will become redundant. That's, that makes sense. That makes sense, William, because you're, uh, you're just used to it, right? At that point, you'd basically be flying a weaker bowler. Oh, okay. Maybe customize the raven after the wormhole. Um, maybe. I'll consider it. VFs can be used for trolling in multiplayer games by spamming ISBMs. How would that be trolling exactly, though? Does, does it, uh... Make the screen too hard to see or something? Did I overheat? I think I did, yes. Lame. Man, KJ1 is really on top of it today. The only actual use I'd have for the 76 is for grinding satellite short quests. Okay. Oh yeah, like use uh Use a certain number of satellites in a in short quests, I guess. Six ICBMs equals blind everyone in the game. Oh worse if the host has promo disabled. Well, good to know then. All right, good job, guys. Good mission. Uh, 17 waves on this next one, 36 to 52. Eh, should be fairly easy. Last one. <laughs> um, anyway, short quest as in literally shoot this many satellite projectiles. Oh, okay. I thought maybe it was like you had to use a certain number like per mission or something, but no, it's just go through that many. Ruin says tea. Yeah, I actually got some water here in this bottle. I'm gonna go through this bottle of water and then then refill my tea glass. <laughs> Six micro guns on a 76 equals 1,500 shots. Wow, that's a lot. Dr. Sabatso wouldn't go on, would go on to be the voice for SCP Containment Breach and Baldi's Basics. Oh, that's interesting. You should try it in darkness, by the way, night vision. Okay. I'll do that, Pidgey. I think there's another darkness mission when we get back to the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The star system. So, but if there's not, I'm sure we'll get to one eventually. Well, no tea today. Dang. I know, right? Yeah. I've just been trying to drink more water to stay better hydrated. But don't worry. There will be tea. I'm just going to get through that first. Oh, no, never mind. Not so nice. He grabbed it. Actually, wait a minute. I don't need it. Power level 8 is the highest one I got. I am speed. Clearly, Pidgey. We both are. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nice. Hmm, excuse me. The quest was a good feature. It really encouraged you to, to branch out and interact with some of the game's other elements. Like different weapons that you normally otherwise wouldn't use. Like how you dance while we kill them. Yeah. It just dancing with joy from enemies from dying. How to grind is by literally joining a multiplayer game, using up all the satellites, then disconnecting and rejoining. And that works? Huh. Okay, fair enough. Once again, KJ1. Doing squadron assignments like there's no tomorrow. About as fast as I can assign them. Three to 
get Yee's and Cheese back to the top of the scoreboard. It's gonna happen. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nice. This game appears to be full of lasers. Yeah, you might say that. You might say that, Windows. Uh, make sure to assign missions every day for that medal. Might not be able to pull that off, Plasma. At least not this week. We'll see. Might just have to take like one week and just make it like a dedicated Chicken Invaders week. Oops, accidentally stole one of your barbecues. Uh, not that big of a deal, Tord. The, the, uh, the lower power level is what I'm more concerned with. Remember, we were number one on the top squadrons list on that day. That's true, we were. We were. You sent the screenshot and everything. We made it. If we could just end the week that way. That would be awesome. Whoop. Yeah, I think if we took like one week and just really grinded it out, we could get up there. Whoop. And then the next week, everything would have reset. Yes, that way we got overtaken by the end of the week. Yeah, by Shady Gang. I think we really threw down the gauntlet, though. Talking Tom and Friends Squadron will pay. Talking Tom and Friends Squadron isn't going to do Jack Squad. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, Stink! All right, I'm good. Scott, the Squadron Medal gets awarded to everyone in the Squadron? Awesome. Ole Bobcar says, we'll pay what? I, I've got no idea. Not just the leader? Fantastic. Okay. So then we'll all get it then. I mean, I have one already. Oh, well. I mean, good, good for you, Pidgey, but you don't know how? Huh. That's weird. I think you'd remember an event like that. I have eight or something? Well, dang, how many squadrons are you in, man? Beautiful. Nice. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Her window says, meanwhile, WikiHow is under huge fire. Oh, Pidgey says, must have been super active squadron a long time ago and I got it. That, that makes sense. Back when the game was still relatively young. Um, Windows says, Meanwhile, WikiHow is under huge fire for allowing absurd how-to articles. That's nothing new. They've had absurd how-to articles for the better part of the last decade. I don't know why it's just now becoming under fire. It's a little silly. There's a squadron called Boss Rush Squad. I was in it. Really? Boss Rush Squad. Yeah, you can already tell what they're, what they're doing. How to breathe, how to drink, how to clap your hands, how to go to McDonald's. Yeah, basically shovelware is what it sounds like. Hey, here we go. Hey, we mothership. Nice. GG, guys. And I held on to lightning the whole time. Woo woo! Pidgey says, do darkness. There's, well, if I can find a darkness mission, sure. Um, okay, retro wave is done. Let's go back to the star system. Oh, off-road would actually be cheaper. 
happen. Now, why is that not surprising? <laughs> um, you know, if I did go on road, I could, I could stop and get some more gas. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Because I do want some more gas. I've used so much of it. Okay, where is gas station? It's over here where Emerald's at. Okay, purchase fuel. How much should I get this time? Um, I guess three. There you go. That should be enough for a moment anyway. Once they start going on these wild cross, cross uh, galaxy trips again. No oh, minute. Dodgier than five minute hacks. Oh, five minute hacks. Five minute crafts. Five minute garbage, more like it. Why are you reassigning the retro missions? I'm not reassigning them, KJ1. Those are new retro missions. Those are from a different wormhole. Chicken Invaders Universe is like a modern Space Invaders. Um, yeah, in a manner of speaking, Technic Rain it is. Welcome to the stream. Uh, make sure to customize your Raven and Fly Galactic. I, I'll get to it. I'll get to it, Plasma. Don't worry about it. Uh, first off, though, I need to go back to this one because we've got one more mission on this planet. Okay, so neither of these are darkness. Let's try this darkness one. I'm not gonna do this full mission again. I'm just going to start it just so I can see what Pidgey's talking about. Oh. Oh, that is better. Yeah, it's like it's, it's, like it's not as dim. Okay, cool. Kinda see everybody coming in. You can kinda get in the background here and still see them. It's darker, but not like exceptionally darker. Sweet. That's neat. All right, well, I'm gonna cancel this one. Uh, and this time, let's do Bear Noodle. Here we go. This one's only five waves as well. Um, I said, he came up with the idea of chicken invaders while playing space invaders and eating fried chicken. Not sure how true that is. I don't know how true that is either, but it's a great story either way. <laughs> For goodness sakes. Feather clumps. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. It's feather time. I hope you're ready for it. Woo! Oh! Dang, nab it! I am an idiot. Dude. I ran right towards it to get that power up, and I ran it right into an egg. Like, no, no stinks given, pretty much. My goodness. Man, that's annoying. Imagine being that dumb. How to tie a tie while tying a guy's tie? What are you talking about? Oh, the wiki house crap again, that's right. Grab this. Five minute craps. Oh, wait. No, I can vouch for that. He said that in the Q&A. Wait, really? Did he really now? That's that's brilliant. Yeah, it's not an unbelievable story. Meanwhile, it is true that you're being invaded by only chickens in the game, hence the name. Yeah, that's that's right. That's the name. Hey, and we've we've been doing it for a long time too, Windows. This is the game I. Well, not, not this game, obviously, not Chicken Invaders Universe. This is the new one, but the series I've been playing since I was five. Like, this was one of the first games I ever played was Chicken Invaders 1. It takes you five minutes to crap that it becomes five constantly. Yeah. I think Chad is just kind of completely devolved at this point. To be fair, I am the one who originally said it, so I guess that's on me. <laughs> I just didn't think everybody was gonna was gonna take it that far. Speaking of Chicken Bears 1, it got remastered. It did, I still need to play it. I haven't, haven't touched the remaster 
Yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh my, okay. He's dialed it up significantly. Chocolate egg chicken, that's what we got right now. Woo! Let's go. All right, guys, Lightning Fryer. Quest objective is complete. GG, everybody. Too bad internet moment. Ah, lame toward. Have you played games with chickens when you click on them to shoot them? Oh, like, uh, like Chicken Shoot? That game from the Wii and the other one, which name I don't remember. I haven't played them, Emerald, but I know the types of games you're talking about. Games that are essentially uh, poorly made Duck Hunt clones. Go ahead and assign that. There you go, guys. Nice, so we got about, what, two, 250 <laughs> enemies left. All right, and that plan is done. I'm gonna go ahead and customize this, since everybody keeps asking me to. And then I'm gonna fly the qualification phase for Galactic Cup. And you know what? Since I am gonna be logging on to play Galactic Cup every day this week, I guess I can assign a couple of missions. Or I'm sorry, a couple of uh, a couple of assignments to the squadron. So KJ1, keep that keep that in mind, man. Oh boy. So it won't be a lot because I still have other projects to work on, but I'll do what I can. Okay, first things first. Exhaust. Eh. Exhaust would be interesting if it was more of a blue color. Ooh, yes, that is nice. Let's keep that. Um, exhaust inner. I'm guessing this is like that, right? Like, it burns kind of hot. Interesting. What if that was also purple? No, because then you can't tell it apart from the ship. Ooh, a darker blue leading into a lighter blue coming from purple. Now that has potential. Base paint. What goes good with purple, guys? Ha ha! Ha! Not that! Um, not that either. We're in a creamy white color. That's not much different than the gray. Green? No. Well, maybe. Oh, that's almost kind of giving me Buzz Lightyear vibes. What if it was a little darker? Uh, eh. Eh. I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. Yellow? Ugh. Red? Ugh. Black. Ooh. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Cockpit. Let's change that. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's coming together. It is coming together, ladies and gentlemen. Shininess. That kind of like white on the sides. What if that was like something weird like orange? Ladies and gentlemen, I think I've done it. I think I've done it. I think that's it. I think that's what we needed. Mm-hmm. Now let's take a look at the exhaust. Ooh. Now, I don't know. It's kind of hard to just be classic exhaust, right? I don't know. That's kind of cool. That's cool as well. Oh, and these are Chicken Hunter license only. I don't really know why, though. These aren't that appealing. I mean, this one's kind of cool, but... I think I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, so this is all gonna cost me 100 keys. Make it a blue flame, yeah, like that. That's pretty cool, looks evil, it does. It kind of looks like a, kind of looks like the Dark Knight Rises to fight the chickens kind of vibe to it. Chicken Invaders 1 needed it because it didn't work well in modern operating systems without tools like DG Voodoo, exactly. Yeah, that, that video, the Chicken Invaders 1, how to get it working correctly, still one of my most popular videos on the subjects. <laughs> I'm glad he made the remaster. I made IA fix a texture bug related to VF before they were even made available in the game. Good, that's awesome, Emerald. Everything's just being remastered these days with no new ideas, really. Um, well, there are a lot of remasters and remakes, but not everything, there's plenty of new ideas. It's just not coming from the big players in the market. They're trying to keep it safe. I sent you some pictures some time ago. New badge coming up, awesome. Awesome, thanks, Pidgey. Whole introductory cutscene of Chicken Invaders 1 was remade, and it's beautiful. Sweet. Looking forward to playing it. I'm gonna stream it at some point. So, uh, yeah, it'll be fun. The closest thing I played to a Chicken Invaders 1 remaster was the, uh, 
the anniversary mission at the Hero Academy building. <laughs> so, uh, so that's been fun. Anyway, what's next? I guess Galactic Cup, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Hey, by the way, guys, what happened to daily challenges? Remember those? What happened to those? Did they just get replaced with today's scramble? Hmm. I have a ship like that, but with a purple exhaust? Oh, cool, Plasma. Give it a name. A name. Done and done. Defeating an army with just a cow. <laughs> the exhaust looks like my neon. Nice. That is nice. That's a really look, cool looking ship now. In fact, look. Look at it. Ah, I love it. Oh, that's actually my coolest looking ship now. Which is unfortunate because I'm about to switch back over to the BX9 for the Galactic Cup. Um, to participate in this, you must fly the qualification mission. You may fly it as many times as you like, however, only your last attempt, blah, 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 blah. This is 48, uh, 48 levels or waves or whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and swap back over the chip, chick magnet. We'll start by unmounting everything. Thank you guys for pointing that out to me last time. You saved me a lot of time there. Go ahead and slot everything back up. I guess I don't need to use the Lightning Fryer anymore. What do I want to use then? Let's use the Positron Stream, and the Overdrive, and the Heat Sink, and everything else. Oh, it needs a reactor? Oh no, it's not. That's right, this is the flagship now. You've been replaced! Oh! Anyway. Plasma set of a mail. Uh, let's see. Rename to today's scramble. Okay. Occasionally potluck, budget constraint, or weapons training. Fair enough. Plasma's mom, haha. -ha. <laughs> yeah, P, comma, period A. Yeah, I type it typing is hard. Let's see. Black Mesa, Portal RTX, Chick Invaders 1 Remastered, Baldi's Basics, Classic Remastered. There are probably countless others. Oh yeah. Yeah, and there's remakes on top of that. I even saw somebody proposing the idea of a Doom 2016 remaster. And I'm over here like, you mean the thing that was used as a benchmark game for new PC builds like five, six years ago? I don't think so. I don't think so, dude. <laughs> oh man, people are silly. Anyway, but Chicken Invaders 1, that, that came out in, in like 90, what, 99, 97? If there was a game that needed a remaster, it was that. Anyway, um, your boy is... Not out of coolant canisters necessarily, but but uh, yeah, I gotta I gotta swap back up. Oh, you know what? I uh I need to slot in one of these HUD items as well. Pecking order revealer. That's right. Okay. Anything else? No, I think that's it for now. Okay, fly this, gonna turn off multiplayer. Here we go, guys. Chick magnet, magnet because all the chicks come crashing into you, literally. <laughs> oh, I should have slotted in chick magnets. So I could have picked up, well, it's just qualification match. I guess that doesn't really matter. But still, Liam is flying Baron Newell. Oh, nice. Work on the squadron assignment. Oh, so is KJ1. <laughs> Hey, that's a short one, too. Oh, we canceled it. Oh. Well, if I'm just reading what everyone else is doing. Um, Liam says, by the way, I know you have a Half-Life 1 stream planned in the future. Do you also plan to play Black Mesa? Yes, I do, Liam. I'm going through every single Half-Life game in the series um, in order of release. I'm starting with, like, the original one. I am going to do Black Mesa eventually. But I'm actually saving it for last, right? So, like, I'm gonna play Half-Life 1 first. Um, I'm gonna play through the series. I'm gonna do mods, multiplayer, all that fun stuff. And I'm gonna end it off with Half-Life Alex, because that's the newest Half-Life game in the series. And then after Half-Life Alex, then I'm gonna play Black Mesa. It's gonna be like the, the grand finale, as it were, if that makes sense. Kind of like how I did all the Chicken Invaders games before playing Chicken Invaders Universe. 
Cash, you forgot to drag and drop. You forgot the drag and drop technique. I did. I did. Forgot all about it. Nice. That works. Uh, you gotta kill the chicken with that symbol. One after the other until you get the pecking order bonus. Oh! Okay. That makes sense. Liam says, awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Remastering the remaster with remasters. Pretty much. So the symbol. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Like, like so. Probably not with this weapon. Maybe, maybe not the best idea. Oh, I get it. Kind of hard to do with the little chicks, but I understand how it works now anyway. Oh, no, I got some of them. Yeah, some of them are, are giving me points. Thanks, Pidgey. Oh, uh, with time, you'll memorize the patterns of the packs so you won't be needing the HUD anymore. Oh yeah, it'll just be instinctual at that point. Good deal. It's awesome how many little intricacies there are to CIU. What about the opposing force and blue shift standalones? Oh yeah. Yeah, if you wanna check out my list, Liam, it's linked down below in the description. You'll see the games listed out in the exact order I intend to play them in. Including Half-Life Source. Before anybody asks, no, I'm not skipping it. I will be patching it to make it more, more tolerable, but I am gonna play it. Whoop. Even if it is just a crummy remaster, once again. It's not, it's hardly even that. It's just they just took the assets and threw it in the Source engine. <laughs> It'll give you a big edge, yes. Yes, it will. Be a huge help in uh, dares and events like Galactic Cup and other things too. Single target weapons work best, so like this one. Uh, there, that was a smart move to put Half-Life Alex at the near end. It was content from Half-Life 2 Episode 2, but takes place in between them story-wise. Right, yeah, right, makes sense. It was more just, it's more just um, in line with how I like to play games anyway, which is in order of release. Uh, guess it would have been better to go with the laser if I was practicing pecking order, wouldn't it? Would have made more sense. Double helix. Nice, they did another one. Good job, guys. What? Liam says, epic, looking forward to it. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. No, 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 you gotta play Half-Life Source in all its buggy glory. Oh, no, 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 no. No, not doing that. No, I'm, I'm gonna patch it. I'm gonna do my best to actually make it into a semi-decent version of Half-Life. No way in stink I'm playing it unpatched. You forget it. If the symbol disappears without the pecking order bonus, it means it won't be a ward anymore. Right, because you went out of order. That makes sense. I guess, I suppose there's no pecking order to asteroids, is there? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Eh, never mind. If you don't see chickens that don't have that symbol across the whole wave, then the wave is not eligible for pecking order bonus. Makes sense. I remember the time I loved playing Chicken Invaders 4. At that time, I was thinking fourth will be my last entry. Until the fifth entry came out and was disappointed. Oh, you didn't care for the fifth entry? That's a shame. To be honest with you, I didn't really care for five as much as I did for four. I four five was good, it was a good game, and it had a lot of cool new concepts. It just didn't grab me the same way four did. But maybe that's because I grew up playing three. And four was like the first new one. Or maybe it did, maybe it was just in some ways a step down from four. I really couldn't tell you, but for whatever reason, I also just liked four better. I did it, nice. I'm actually doing it. Hey look, Pidgey, I'm doing it. Are you proud? I almost did it. Yeah, there you go. Sort of doing it. I'm getting there. Ever heard of Napoleon Total War or Empire Total War? Yeah, I've heard of those games. I have uh, 
a Total War game somewhere. I think, like, on a disc. I don't know which one. But I'm, like, 90% sure I have one. Nice. Bye-bye, Miss Dig. Beautiful. Four had the most new mechanics added in any new game. Maybe that's what it was then. It is a bad idea to plan past Half-Life Source. Some solutions can't be solved without cheating. Thus, why well, want to do it with the patch? Oh man. I'm sure, like I said, it won't fix everything, but it'll at least deal with some of the main problems, like the, the, uh, What was it? The soldier doesn't shoot the scientist. The level turns in this black void. Certain events don't trigger. Hitting, let's see, what is it? Wooden crates make some metal sound. You know, dumb stuff like that. That's That kind of stuff will be big. I'm proud of you, son. Thanks, Pidgey. Look at me now, guys. New contact, Pink G. Sounds familiar. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, the gameplay in the fifth entry was good, yeah. Um, but the way the lore went was weird as hell. Yeah, it was a little all over the place, wasn't it? I kinda, I kinda got that too. Like, I just, I didn't really expect it. Nice, 10,000 big ones. Yeah, this one not so much. It's not gonna work on this one. Hey, do you want to spawn cultivated peoplehood? <laughs> That's great. I mean, the planetary missions in Chicken Bears 5 were awesome additions. Oh no, they were very cool. Like the underwater level? That was neat. Like underwater levels in general are kind of like a, a gaming joke, right? Like, oh, I hate underwater levels, but that was cool. That was really neat. The cave levels were neat. They were well designed, it's just, I don't know, it just, it just, didn't, it just didn't have the same magic for me. And I don't really, I can't really think of a good way to explain it other than, I just didn't care for it as much. I can't really give you a, a good objective reason. Like I can't think of any reason for five being worse than four. Maybe again, it had more to do with the fact there were less gameplay mechanics added, but the planetary stuff was cool. It was new, it was interesting. I don't know, just went the same. But besides that, the new weapons is pretty much the same. Maybe that was it. And yet, um, it was like what Tor said, the lore was kind of floating place. Hey, Metal, sweet, nice. No floating scientist, no, no floating scientist, William. Rank three in League, but Atlas still annoying me. Ah, Half-Life Source wasn't even buggy until after Steam Pipe, and it still hasn't been officially fixed. Really? That's weird. Why would Steam Pipe be the thing to mess it up? Actually, I take that back. I can think of a few things. I mean, even Saints Row 4, when it added in support for Steam Workshop, I know that's not the same thing as Steam, but still, it illustrates the point. When it added in support for Steam Workshop, it messed up a couple of things. One being the DLC achievements. I had to roll it back to an older version in order to actually unlock them. And it took me about a year to figure out how to do that. Oh dang, nah, but I wanted that key. Now it's lost forever. Oh well, I tried. You understand the importance of pecs now. I do, I get it. It makes total sense. I got a couple. A couple, not too, not too bad. Wondering if zero points can get you qualified in group phase. I doubt it. I don't really know the parameters of what, of what qualify, of what you have to do to qualify in group phase. Do you know Emerald by any chance? That seems like something you would know. 
Like, do you just have to complete group phase, or do you actually have to get, like, a minimum score? Didn't it become bo buggy because Source got updated? I have no idea, Liam. You guys would know far more about that subject than I would. Okay, this is new. I've yet to see an asteroid wave like this. What, the asteroids are revolving around us? Is that the bit? This just feels strange, quite frankly. Also, that's the closest I've ever gotten to 100%ing an asteroid wave. CI6 is going to happen in the future as a little side project, really. One CIU doesn't require constant development. It will use most of the content present in CIU like the rebalanced weapons and waves. That's awesome, Pidgey. That'll be great. Another like mainline entry in the series. Brothers reunite. All right, here we go. I said that in the Q&A last year in December. Sweet. That's exciting. There are a lot of people will be glad to uh, to see that. Both those that play CIU and those who don't care for it are just like, oh, I missed the series single player roots. Huh? Now they'll be happy. Me on the other hand, I'm I like getting the both best of both worlds. Hmm. Imagine the mission with 200 waves or even a thousand waves. That would take like almost a whole day to finish the mission without taking breaks. That's true. It would. Be a long, long mission. You just need to be in the top 256 to qualify. Oh, okay. Fair enough then. And so far, there's like what 430 people who run it. Nice. Whoa! Dang nabbit. Okay, that's sort of working. Dang nabbit, I messed that up. Killed the second one first. Dang it! That's why you can't shoot when you're turning around. You go out of order. Okay, I missed a few, but otherwise that went pretty good. The fortress. Oh, oh shoot. That's what they meant by fortress. I remember this wave. Not fondly, but I do remember it. Oh boy. Who can think about pecking order in a situation like this? It's just downright unnerving. can think about though and that's food everybody needs to eat right whoop 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 oh boy oh boy he's free okay now I got him Woo -hoo -hoo. okay that was a little terrifying but we did it oh man so somehow 255 players need to have played excluding yourself Right, makes sense. Then 32 groups with eight people each. Top four, each group qualifies into knockout. 128 people, then they'll kill each other to win. Makes sense. Four Eyes says, hey, what's up, Four Eyes? Welcome to the stream. We're playing some Chicken Invaders Universe, as you can see. Oh boy, and now the angry chickens. Chicks are chasing us. Ah, ah loser. Got him. Hey, look, it's the two fort wave, right? Oh, playing TF2 as Scout while having a stereotypical Boston voice. Wow. I'd say that went pretty good. I'm trying to tell someone they cannot have their operating system come with every program ever made, but they won't listen. Well, I mean, no duh. You wouldn't have the space for that. No one is gonna be giving out every, out two terabyte plus hard drives just to fit everything on your PC. <laughs> oh man, that's just, that's a little insane. Is your friend new to computers, I'm guessing? 
kind of regret using this weapon now. There you go, that's better. good. Four Eyes says it's me, Horizon. Oh, cool, man. Got a new account, huh? Or renamed it or something. Well, good to see you, Horizon. Hope you're having a solid, solid Monday. We're doing some Chicken Invaders Universe to start our week off on the right foot. And, ladies and gentlemen, we now have eight more waves to fly. And then I will hopefully, fingers crossed, be qualified for Galactic Cup. Hey, Squadron Assignment Reward. Good job, Plasma. Walks to a spy. Hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> Some pecking orders just aren't worth it. That's true. That's true, William. Especially if you have to sacrifice other stuff for it. Destroy the cannon shooting at you first. Then take the pecking order. Mm, that would have been the smart move. Oh, dang. We're getting squadron assignment rewards like there's no tomorrow. Examples being interdimensional portals and red pill, blue pill. You can also constantly change directions up and down in order to make the food bounce around and not lose it. Right, that was what I was trying to do. Sort of. In those waves, you're much better off going for massive multi-kills. Probably a weapon better suited for it, too, if, if possible. Try to use moron casts? Uh, not right now, Ruin. What's the longest game of two fort you've ever played? Four hours. For me, it's four hours. If I recall correctly, mine was two hours, and mine was four. Oh, shoot! I didn't even, I didn't see the title of the, of the wave before it started. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dearie dear me. Dang nabbit! Ah, I was totally worthless. That makes me mad. What the crap! I hate this level so much. Okay, come on. Come on, you stupid bird brains, move it! Oh man, that aggravates the crap out of me. I remember when this level first came out, before it got rebalanced. It was like so, so difficult. It was like nearly impossible. Not impossible, but... It was a little bit insane, I remember that much. Okay, thank goodness. Get out of here, you stupid metal arms. Ooh, Kess is getting mad. Yeah, that level is total BS. I cannot stand it. I've hated it ever since they added it to the game. I'm never prepared for it. It's difficult. Once you get knocked down once, it's difficult to get back up again. It's just a pain. Packing plant jump scare, right? Packing plant nightmare, more like it. Now this is the same account. I quit SFM, my YouTube channel, so I changed my name. Oh, okay. That explains it. Well, whatever your name is now, it's good to have you uh have you here on the stream, dude. Kinda scares me that you're able to recall that so easily. Um, yeah, it's it's like it's like deeply seated in my memory, unfortunately. Whoop, 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 whoop. Are you serious? Where the crap was that egg? It was past me! It was past me, you... Okay, I guess it wasn't. Why argue with it? Uh... Now, I also was pissed off when I died like this in that dumb way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, packing plant is a huge pain. No matter what way you slice it. I guess I should be a little bit more aware of my surroundings. 
just trying to look at the uh, pecking order numbers, obviously. <laughs> Though, this is a weapon you have to keep cool if you're going to be doing that. <laughs> There you go. That's how you do the pecking order. Perfect. I'm just gonna keep doing that one section at a time. Starting over here. Technique for packing plant would be to camp one of the boxes, right? Spawn spinner got nerfed, but still hard. Zoomed out 10% isn't enough. Mm. We even go full side to side sweep. Only works if the mission difficulty is low enough. Makes sense. Take that key, sir. Thank you. I got 18.1 million in qualification phase. Can you beat that? Probably not, Plasma. Probably not. We'll see, though. Bet he's gonna do something silly. Only, well, I've got one last level to do it, if so, Jemanya. Hey, look at all the pecs. Good job. Thanks, Pidgey. That was a wave definitely made for getting pecking order, I'll say that. Of course, triple trouble usually is, let's be honest. Alright, good stuff. Kinda, kinda got... Nice, we passed our quest! We ranked up, let's go! Kinda got difficult near the end, but... Okay, I wasn't that far behind Plasma, about 800,000. 17.3. You got all the pecs in that wave. Sweet. You died and I didn't. Yeah. That big, big score difference because of that, I don't doubt. Quest rank up. Yes, sir. I retired from Cup, so best of luck to you, Watt. Oh, thanks, Liam. The Western Hemisphere needs a new winner. <laughs> For real. The new badge. New badge? Did I get a new badge? Let me see it. Or are you talking about something else? Um... This one? Oh no, that's for tier 99. That is cool though. Birthday accomplishment. What badge are you talking about, Pidgey? Busy Bee Accolade. Weekly to the most active squadron. Award weekly to the pirate the most ways flown. Daily, Galactic. I don't, I don't see any, anything new. Oh well, either way. Um, Let's check out the quest. Inside, nice. Flight time, 40 minutes. Kill enemy, 6,000. Collect atoms, 40. Use equipment, dimensional phase out. Well, I have some of those. It's just a matter of using them. So, I guess I'll focus on that a little bit more now. Dimensional phase outs. I got plenty of them, too. We'll work on that. Okay. Um, look in mail. Look in mail. Whoa. Look at all the squadron assignment rewards. Good job, guys. I don't see any, uh, any new badge or anything, though. 400 keys, nice. Oh, this, this is what you meant. You meant the new, uh, the new quest badge. Congratulations, recruit, for completing sufficient quests to advance to the next rank. You are hereby awarded the rank of Ensign. UHF is proud of your accomplishment. Very nice. Very nice. Leveled up from cleaning toilets, right? Microsoft Bob is basically an operating system running on top of an operating system. On top of an operating system. Sounds pretty silly. Um, in some milestones, you have to waste keys for equipment. And here's one of them. <laughs> Each rank up levels the batch. Awesome. Okay, so... Now that that's done... Did the Galactic Phase qualification... Um, did the Retro Missions, did all these missions... I guess we'll move on and find another planet. 
to go to. How about this one? This one's close by. Zenaara, and this is a terrain planet. Oh, only two missions, okay. Celebrated Newspeak, and then a boss rush. Brief light ship. Oh, nice design, Plasma. I like the way you got your ship customized. Seven, and then six. Oh, this is gonna be super short. All right, everybody, here we go. I'm gonna start uh, using some of those dimensional phase outs, too. Might as well, right? Might as well get started on it. Oh, even this has a certain type of order to it. Probably not gonna, uh, not gonna work in multiplayer, though, is it? <laughs> now that I think about it. Oh, this peck isn't worth it either. Is it not? Makes sense. Yet somehow I'm still getting it. Yeah, I'm still getting it. Despite its lack of worth it. Itness. Yeah, pecking or 10,500. What do you mean that's not worth it? Why do your peck is so easy you should try for it? Do you mean this one or the last one? Either way. This one's already way well past getting it. Nice. It appears on the compare screen. You can see what rank what rank people are on. Oh, cool. See everybody's rank. That's neat. Whoop. Whoop. timing on my part. All right, one more phase out. I got Riddler just for slobs. Smart, Emerald. Smart move. What? I don't even bother, bother getting Hex and multiplayer. Yeah, it's not really worth the effort a lot of the time. Because <laughs> everybody's just kind of going for it. Though we did get it in that one level, and that was pretty cool. It was a big one, too. Hi, Cass. What's up, champion? Welcome to stream. I don't like you anymore, because I found out your body is made of 70% water and not 70% tea. Oh, I think that's bad. You're going to hate to see what I'm drinking today. <laughs> Welcome to stream, Plasma. Oh, man. Wouldn't be surprised if Apple discontinues iTunes for Windows. Um... Well, I don't know, man. They still use that to, uh... for people to unlock their devices. So... If they did that, they would either have to... Oh yeah, that's the end. I forgot how short that was. Good job, everybody. GG. Last night was playing a Napoleonic war game and then roamed around and saw two people arguing over if the earth is flat or round. <laughs> was funny, but got too far. I bet. Plasma. I was gonna stay, and I was going to say, good day, sir. I'll take my business elsewhere. Plas Plasma's the weapon in the game, buddy. Calm down now. Anyway, let's move on to Boss Rush with six, um, six much, whatchamacallit, six bosses to go through. Uh, let's see, we got our dimensional phase outs reloaded. Check our quest, two out of 24. I'm gonna have to buy some more and slot them in there and just like spam my way through it. That's what I'll do. <laughs> there you go. That way there's plenty of them. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and unswat this, unswat that. There you go. Now that's dimensional phase outs. It's totally overkill too, but hey, why not, right? Actually, they do this through Finder on Mac OS now. What do they do, uh, recovery? As opposed to using iTunes? I mean, that's all well and good, but on Windows, they still use iTunes for like, let's say you get walked out of your iPad and you need to get back into it. You recover it through the iTunes app. So you either have to come up with a replacement for that, or more likely, they'll just integrate it into their Apple Music program, which they're doing already. I'm trying to phase out iTunes and move it more towards that. Nice, let's go. Good job, guys. Oh, crap. Accidentally sent out clucker bombs. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do phase outs. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Nice try, buddy. Oh, dang nabbit, I keep swapping over to the wrong power up and then using it. That is annoying. There you go, that's better. Oh, I'm now on this weapon. Oh, fine. We get to fight the big, big meteor in the sky, eh? Let's do it. Beautiful. Nice. Emperor's Apprentice. Oh, and here he is. What? See you, buddy. Oh, that, he didn't even get a chance to shoot his lasers. GG, guys. Oh, wait, one more. One more. Nice. GG, everybody. Yes, the effect stacks. Good deal. Whoop. Unfortunately, hard points don't appear when you're comparing fleets. Oh, really? Also, I'm doing great. I see Kess Live, I quit. Pretty simple. Glad you're doing well. Hey, what you're drinking today, don't tell me. Okay, I won't. Why tell when you can show, right? Oh, man. Do you do spacecraft reviews like other people's spacecrafts? No, I don't. Um, unfortunately, hard... Oh, I read that already. More than likely, it'll be integrated through iCloud if that were to happen to iTunes on Windows. iCloud, maybe. Sure, you can compliment the actual paint jobs. You could. But hard points are a part of the outfit. They are, like the uh, the lights and the and the effects and whatnot. Bombs make people screw up and lagging, but your PC is a strong boy. Oh yeah, yeah, I got a nice strong gaming computer for streaming and running what we need to run, thankfully. Uh, iTunes is still a pretty big store for individually buying tracks and albums, and they probably make bank off of it, so I doubt they'd get rid of it. I don't think they're gonna get rid of it so much as just re-change the name, because they've moved away from iTunes to Apple Music, right? Kind of like how Google moved away from Google Music to YouTube Music, but it's basic. Well, that was actually a totally separate service, though, to be fair. I don't think there's really any main differences between Apple Music and iTunes. Or how Disney not sue the creator to death for that? Gotta thank his lucky stars for that one. I don't know what you're talking. Oh, 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 oh. Well, yeah, I don't think. Never mind. I'm not. I'm not gonna get into that. No water. Why not tea? No. I just. I just wanted some water this morning, but it's almost empty, so I'm gonna go get some tea. Mm. Guys, give me your specs. I have a Ryzen 5 5600X, an RTX 3070, and about 16 gigs of DDR4 clocked at somewhere between between three and four thousand megahertz. So. Pretty beefy computer. Okay, so we did those two missions. Sign them yees and cheese. Uh, got an exploration reward, very nice. What else? Important. Do a friendly match. I'll do a friendly match real quick. I'll do a friendly match 
I'll go pick up some more tea um, upstairs, and then we'll come back and do some more missions, I guess. And I need to use nine more dimensional phase outs as well. Oh, I've got plenty. I've got plenty. Okay. So I'm going to use those up. Stick in some more lives. How are we doing on cool ones? We're doing fine. Okay, guys. Let's get started, shall we? RTX 3070. Man, I only have a GTX 1060. Hey, that's still a good card, man. That's the one I started with back in 2017. But then I upgraded to a 3070, and it was a big jump in performance, too. Stay hydrated. Consume water. Or tea. Or both. <laughs> Apple seems to be dro dropping a lot of the I prefixes in their products, which is what made Apple Apple for years. Yeah, but a lot of companies are trying to overly simplify their brands right now. So I think that has a, a big... I think that's a big part of, uh, of why they're doing what they're doing. What's this? Oh, that's just some random ship. He's not even, he's not even orbiting anything. Poor fella, he's all lost. So we got this planet and then we got the smaller planet orbiting it. Let's do the big planet first. That's what we'll do. Five missions over there. Oh wait, that's right. I was gonna do, uh, I was gonna do a friendly dare, wasn't I? I'll do Liam's. Here we go. <laughs> We get another squadron assignment done? Oh, it was an exploration reward. Binary scream. <laughs> Beautiful. Whoop. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but you know what I mean. Kiss may do a video about reviewing your house and gaming table, roll. A video about reviewing your house and gaming table. I don't really understand that. Whoop. Whoop. You mean like you want to send in like pictures of your house and your gaming table and you want me to review it? It'd be interesting. Nice. Uh, I'll be getting a new PC soon. Nice, Pidgey. Very cool. Kind of messed up the pecking order on that one, didn't I? A little bit. Let's see if I can do a better job this time. Nope, messed that up too. Kind of hard to do with a positron stream. There you go, that one, this one's kind of working. Nice. There you go, there's a pecking order. I know it's just a friendly deer, but still, might as well put in the practice, right? There you go. Now this is, uh... Oh. Oh, it's just about the eggs. Oh, it doesn't matter about the, ch the bird. Interesting. What? I think I messed up the rest of it, though. A little bit. <laughs> Assignment reward. Woo! 
I'll be getting a new PC soon, mostly gonna be using it for gaming, so maybe I can get something like what you got. I don't need anything overkill. Oh yeah, totally good. And the prices have come down um, a good bit since I got those parts as well. Like everything I got is cheaper now than it was when I got it. So, you'd be sitting pretty. Cause I mean, it does not, it just, it doesn't even, my setup is actually kind of overkill for most games as it is, you know what I mean? Like only the latest and greatest, like higher end graphically demanding games. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need anything close to that much power, you know what I mean? Like Chicken Invaders doesn't need a whole lot to run. Obviously. Dang, Nabbit. Ah, I was doing so good up to that point. Dude, I was so close to getting the no deaths. I screwed it up. That makes me mad. Well, no pecking order on this one. You know, Pidgey, I feel like the swab noise is more like the air being let out of a balloon than the air being let out of a person. I mean, think about it. When have you ever heard a person make that sound? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. You tell me. All right, guys. And there you go. There's Williams Dare. How'd I do? Probably not great. Let's find out. Is honey mustard disgusting or good? I don't like it, but some people do. Um, anyway, companies oversimplifying their logos so they can fit into phone slash app icons. Right, and onto different surfaces, too. So, but it's, I don't think it's worth the trade-off, personally. But hey, I'm not a big company owner, what do I know? All right, let's see how we did there. Um, six million versus 6.6 .6 million, so not, not great. Ugh, I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna try plasmas next. Oh, I got more sent to me. That's funny. Uh, plasma is zero. Never mind. I'm not gonna fly that. I'm not gonna try to beat a score of zero. Uh, instead, let's go ahead and start a new mission. Oh no, wait. I was gonna go get some tea. All right. So I will be right back. I'm gonna go get a glass of tea. Should be about 30 to 60 seconds. Um, go get a drink. Do whatever you need to do, and then we'll be back to do some more missions. so patiently. Ugh. GG though, thanks William. My virtuosity sucked and didn't really put any effort into packs. Fair enough. I, I didn't really get as close as I would have liked, but hey. You know, it's been a while since I've participated in dares at all. I'm gonna have to work my way back up to it. Plus stuff has changed a little bit. Funny you should say that, with Posse, you can camp the enemies. They come in, making it easier to get packs. I guess that's true. Positron is actually one of the better weapons to peck with. Oh, okay, so I had no idea what I was talking about then. What would you say is the total price of your setup as of now? I don't know, Pidgey, because I don't know what all those parts would have cost um, if you were to buy them right now. 
So I'd have to I'd have to look them up and see. Plus, it's probably different uh, where you are than it is here necessarily. Hmm. Guys, I think this tea is bad. Yeah, that, that actually smells like sour. Yeah, I'm not drinking that. That actually, like no joke, this actually smells like it started to turn into alcohol. That's how weird this smells. Expiration date? Yeah, I looked at that. I looked at that Pidgey because I was thinking the same thing. It says February 5th of 2025. So I don't think it's that. <laughs> uh, grocery store stream. I got another jug upstairs. I'm gonna go stick this down. I'll take this back and tell them, hey, this is this is bad. I'm, I wanna swap this one out. Um, yeah, let me go get a different jug real quick and uh, clean this glass out and try again. So, sorry guys. BRB one more time. I'm sorry for the delay, everybody. Let me ex let me explain what happened. All right, let me explain. So basically, the first tea jug is bad, right? The, the tea's gone sour or alcoholic or whatever the hell happened to it. So I pull out the second tea jug, right? And it's leaking. And I'm like, why is this leaking? What's going on? It's got puncture marks on the jug. Puncture marks from my cat. My cat decided that the tea jug was the best thing to sharpen his claws on. So I had to go clean that up. So basically, I'm swimming through 10 different kinds of stupid today. Cats went missing. No, I'm just dealing with BS upstairs. That's what it is. Cats, go into the sound settings and drag the sound volume slider up and down slowly. Funny sound. Really. 
Let's try that. Oh, that is funny. What about music? Oh, that doesn't do anything. Okay, cool. That's neat, Pidgey. Oh, hey, everybody join me. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try, shall we? Unusual light ship. This should be an easier one. Uh, wait, was there something else I was supposed to do? No, that was it. Okay. Insert Kess running into a shop nearby to buy new tea. I, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that in the middle of a stream. Oh, uh, there's, there's no shop that nearby. Why did I change this? I have no idea. Kess's chair looks like the back of an African elephant. Oh, I can see that. Somebody's breaking in. Guys, prepare your guns. <laughs> Oh man, tea cider vinegar. Yeah, something like that. Tea cider vinegar. Oh man. Maybe it'll make good cook cooking products now. Did I say cooking? I meant to say cleaning. English is hard. English English is difficult. I need to learn how to talk. Anyway, dang, that sucks, right, Pidgey? Now, the the old tea I'm gonna take back and have it exchanged. The cat, there's nothing I can do about that. I'll just have to, uh, I'll just have to find a better place to store the tea jugs than on the floor. Butterfly effect. Hey, hoo-hoo, welcome to stream. I don't know if I call it a butterfly effect necessarily, but, eh, it happens. Might be like that, so no tea, I guess. Oh, no, I got some. I got some Pidgey. I got some out of the uh, the tea jug that was punctured. Will they let you take it back if you already took a drink out of it? Yeah, man. Yeah, there's a little uh, guarantee on the jug. It says if you're not satisfied with the product, take it back and exchange it. So the manufacturers have it guaranteed. Besides, I had to open it and try it to know that it was bad, obviously. So it only took about one glass worth of tea out of it. So I think... I think I can make a very compelling case to return it. I don't think that'll be a problem. Um, but no, I did get some tea, and the punctured jug, I just uh, poured the rest of the tea out of it into a different container. So that's that's fine, we still have tea. It's pretty cool that gravity shift works. It is neat, isn't it? It's a neat effect. English is worse than English. <laughs> right? Waving in the breeze. Guess how about we play a double team? Nah, I don't think so, Plasma. I wanna run around just looking for specific mission types. Where's the word knife spelled as knife? I have no idea. I don't know why the K is silent. Way a lot of ink. Whoa! I mean, I get this is not a very difficult mission, but still, that was fast. Good job, guys. I don't know why certain words, uh. Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to do dimensional phase out. Sorry. My bad. You know, I was trying to get through some of these for the, uh, the quest. Wi-Fi lag moment? Ah, lame. First scab, welcome. Bro, I just got an ad about an RV buying lot and a very Texas man was the one talking in said ad. Huh, maybe it was a more local ad. Bro, scab, YouTube does that sometimes, I think. Imagine someone made a Chicken Invaders visual novel where the hero falls in love with a chicken. That'd be incredible. That'd be an incredible Pidgey. Tord says no. Tord's not interested. He's like, nah, fam. Not interested. Not into that. I like the idea, Pidgey. What? Nice. Halfway. Halfway there. What? This is something that's easy to get the pecking order on. Better love story than Twilight? What isn't a better love story than Twilight? Hmm. 
I mean, basically, it's like, oh, here's here's some teens, and they're vampires. I have a choice between this guy and the next. Oh, how is that a love story? You know what that is? That's a template. That's what that is. Doki Doki Academy Club. The visual novel. <laughs> what do you mean, literature club, Plasma? I think you mean literature, buddy, not Academy Club. Uh... Too bad internet kills me. Yeah, it happens, buddy. It's, uh, it's the annoying downside to the poor internet. Big old chunks of lag. My ping is good, thankfully. I'm glad to hear that, Pitchy. I heard your ping's all right. During the night, a knight decided to venture out into the night when it was light. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. No, no, it definitely does not. Ah, stupid soccer balls. Okay, I got some of my things back. Oh, thanks, dude. You stole my weapons and now you're just wasting them. What a jerk. Oh, hey, we did it. I guess it didn't really matter, did it? It was finished. <laughs> GG. Wait, this game has lore? Yeah, it does. Chicken Bears is full of lore. Also a visual novel like Who Killed Sonic? I'm not familiar with that one. I'm familiar with Doki Doki Literature Club. Fifty Shades of Grey is probably worse. Well, let's put it this way, Froscat. It is worse, yes, but it didn't spawn off as many, nearly as many copycats. So I think it had less of a worse impact. Plus, I think everybody, I think a lot of people find Fifty Shades of Grey just kind of unapproachable and it's easy to dismiss. People didn't have that same attitude towards Twilight. So I'd call that the far more, the far more damaging <laughs> success story out there. Well, now you know what AI language models require your setup to max out every part of your hardware to the fullest potential currently available in order to have efficient performance. They're very expensive. I didn't know that, um, but that's interesting. William says, oh, I thought you said or, <laughs> or gore or something. What about a Cass visual novel? What would that even look like? Cass woke up. Cass went for a walk and ate breakfast. Cass drank some tea and ate some food. Cass sat down at the computer and played chicken. What kind of visual novel is this? How about the only moron rail gun next match, lol? No! Cass dates a tea jug. Uh, that, that sounds bad. <laughs> oh, goodness. Dating a tea jug. I swear. Okay. We need to use six more dimensional phase outs. Kill more enemies. Like, actually, basically, it's just it. Just use dimensional phase outs. Everything else will come eventually. All right. Only scorekeeper, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're ready. Gotta go, Cass. I might be back. All right, Theodore. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you at the top. I mean, you've had some nice moments together, right? Yeah, but not that nice. Hmm. More on time. <laughs> Good luck, Liam. Good luck with the moron, dude. The visual novel. Cast states Art Hell's mom. I think Arnhel's mom is married, dude. Also, I'm not really into moms. Nothing personal. I'm sure she's a very lovely lady. It's just not my type. Which is interesting, getting older. Because... Even in, like, your early 20s, an alarmingly large number of people your age are moms. So. <laughs> oh, but that's alright. Who has time for dating anyway, right? Like, why, why waste time with hanging out with a girl when you could be hanging out in Chicken Invaders Universe with your homies and frying chickens? That sounds way better. What? What? What?
Bros over hose. See, William gets it. Bros over gardening tools. You must be both drunk and really bloody high to want the day to teach <laughs> Uh, saving the galaxy is a better use of find a girlfriend in CIU. How many girls do you think play this game legitimately plasma? Saving the galaxy is a better use of time. Exactly. Exactly, Pidgey. Yeah, once you save the galaxy, the galaxy isn't just gonna be like, oh, I'm bored, entertain me. No. No, the galaxy's gonna be thankful and celebrate you forever. Obviously. At least until it's time to save it again. Girlfriend must be an actual girl to count. True, true. Maybe one of us here is a girl. Possible, but very unlikely. And just because they were, that doesn't mean I'd want to date them either. Not in my book, but each their own. Zero. Non-zero amount. Non-zero amount? Okay. I mean, I, I'm not saying there... I'm not saying there aren't girls who play Chicken Invaders Universe. I'm just saying it's got to be in the very, very small minority. So there's the tea jug root. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's mom root and uh, CIU girl root. Yeah. How about the childhood friend root? No, no. Believe it or not, Liam, I've already, I've already tried that root. That just, that root does not end well. You know, that root has plenty of horror stories at the end. Cool. Of how at least I will have the least amount of points on our team. Well, it takes time. It takes time toward to work that way up. Although then again, I don't have the highest amount of points. Both Woe and Pidgey got higher points than I do. Whoop! About the 5,000 year old Woe Live. Or Wally. I, th I think I'm good. I think I'll pass. I th think, I think I'll take a hard pass on that one with him. <laughs> Oh, man. What? Can someone give me a round down on the CIU lore? I'm sure someone could. But I think it'd be a lot more rewarding if you went out and discovered it for yourself. There is no lore yet. What are you talking about? There's plenty of lore. I don't think he meant just the war for CIU, though. I think you meant, like, the war for the background of the series. You can shoot chickens. You earn money. Okay, they're doing a terrible job here at Crowscap. So, basically, you're the lone hero of Earth. Chickens come to invade it, and you have to defend Earth against the chickens. Now, that's how a chicken invader started. The war only went on from there and got more and more complex. The chickens kept coming back with greater and greater weapons and foes and so forth. Eventually, the heroes from around the galaxies had to team up to save the universe. So they formed the United Hero Forces, or UHF. And uh, thus, Chicken Invaders Universe. Pidgey says you were a fat A eating chicken and then you rolled into UHF and became super skinny after not eating for more than five episodes. <laughs> there you go, there's the war. Chicken Invaders Game Theory. Yes. Exactly. Exactly, Emerald. Alright, GG, guys. Well played. So, we got some extra lives. Still got coolant canisters. How many more dimensional phase outs does your boy need to use? Six. I didn't use any of them that time. That's embarrassing. Okay. Let's do ill-informed Ukraine. This is 15 waves of Squawk Block, which will probably take no time at all. My virtuosity that game was 28%, Lamal. Ugh. It's exclusively used more on. Dang, man. Unless I keep forgetting to switch over the dimensional. Whoop! This just cost me a cool one. Now I'm mad. I'm big mad. 
Whoop. You. Did I live? No. No, I, I most certainly did not. That's a lame. That is pretty lame. Despite having the dimensional phase out, no less. Oh, no, I got war on. Nice. In the power-ups. Oh, I think I shot clockers again, didn't I? Yep, sure did. DNS is one of the last things I'd imagine talking about in the CIU stream. And yet, here we are. The moments you see a brigade of coward chickens, right? When your heart stops. Especially if you don't have any lava power on your left. It's just painful. It just hurts a little bit. Star. A <laughs> double yoke star. Uh, that'd be hilarious, Pidgey. That should totally be a thing. Like an April Fool's Day boss. Actually, has that been suggested yet as like an enemy? Has anybody suggested that? Or enterprises from all sides? Oh, that sounds awful. That sounds like a nightmare. Mine! Mine! Not. Wow. Fair enough. Nice. I suggested a never-ending multiplicity for party chickens. Grateful fools. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but hilarious. That should be a pretty decent April Fool's Day. Challenge slash boss slash thingamajig. Man, we really burned through some lives this match. That's okay though, that's okay. We got three more ways to go, we got it. Pretty sure I've used enough dimensional phase out for this point too. Ow, dang nabbit. And I'm back with power level four. How embarrassing. Alright guys, it's cherry time. I'm nope! Fades out one last time. There we go. I stole them all. Dang it. Went to all the trouble of stealing power ups only to lose them again. That feels like a waste of time. Dang it! Come on! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> GG, guys. That was a hard one. Music bumping, right? Oh, man. Oh, that was rough. Okay. Um. So, yeah, just a warning. Never attempt to predict lottery results. <laughs> Wouldn't that be playing the lottery, then? Are you just basically saying never play the lottery? CI War. You see chicken in space, you kill with ship, destroy machine, eat burger, meat off brand, Han Solo, eh, explore places, end. More or less. Except with fun parts added in. <laughs> Joined a mod server and got warned for posting a gift, even though one rule said don't spam gifts, I posted one gif and got warned. It was threatening to get banned. You might have posted it in the wrong channel. Some servers have dedicated gift channels. If not, then uh, maybe that's just them. <laughs> uh, anyway. 
There we go. And I collected enough power-up atoms, too. Sweet. Okay, guys. So we got... Uh... About half the flight time done. Kill some more enemies. Be moving up on Ensign. I bet, I'm sure Ensign will be a much slower grind quest-wise. All right, so here's a Featherfields one. Six waves, and then we got Whispered L Lois with nine waves. Let's do it. Oh yeah, because I used all the uh, all the dimensional phase outs. Okay, I was kind of confused about that for a reason. <laughs> anyway, play Iron Man at the end? No, I'm not doing Iron Man this stream, Plasma. I'm gonna save that for next time. Guess my birthday is coming up this Friday. Oh, that's awesome! Happy early birthday to you. But yeah, now Iron Man's gonna be next stream. This stream focused focusing on Galactic Cup, which I already did. Main missions. And getting back in the swing of things with, uh, with Wii. Fortunately, I don't need other fields for quests. Didn't you max out your quests already, Plasma? Or am I misremembering? IA's response when asked to make an April Fool's joke on CIU was, April Fool's is for fools. Eh, fair enough, I guess. <laughs> kind of a downer, but fair enough. What? Make sure to buy the items I sent you in Discord. Oh, I will. I fully intend to use your uh, your suggested preset. Nice. Woo! By the clumps. Bring it. Bring it, son. Nice. actually a pretty decent weapon for other fields. That was daring. What was that, for that matter? Empire Ambush. Me when I never played Iron Man Quest. <laughs> I haven't played him ever either. That was why I wanted to play a couple of streams and just get back into the swing of things before trying it, because I knew there'd be a lot to it. Iron Man is no small challenge, not for the faint of heart. He said no to a Halloween edition too at first, but added eventually anyway. Guess it shows you, even fellas like IA can change their minds once in a while. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Maybe next year he'll do something. Possible. I mean, maybe he didn't have time to make an April Fool's joke this year because he was busy with the mobile ports. That's possible, too. Bet they would make a rule against saying hello to a mod since that's a threat. Oh, goodness gracious. I can suggest mine, too, if you want. Yeah, sure, Liam. Uh, DM it to me if you don't mind. R3, welcome. Yo, Cash, just stopping by to mention that you playing Furry Galaga. <laughs> don't you mean Feathered Galaga, R3? <laughs> There's no furries in this game. Real Window says, look above for the context of the mention of the lottery earlier. Mmm, I don't see anything about lottery, Real Windows. Swap the roles, play as the chickens. Oh, that would be good, Emerald. That would be good. Yeah, play as the chickens against the invaders. Or that could even be like, well, no, that, that's too involved. I was thinking like that could be its own separate game mode. And then I'm like, nah. Now I'm just making, now I'm just overcomplicating it. Like there's, there's, a, there's a certain point at which a joke is, you're putting in more effort for the joke than it's worth, I'd imagine. Also, Kess, send me a dollar. Mm, how about no? Why don't you get your own dollar? Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Or better yet, R3, how about you send me a dollar? How about you let a brother hold a dollar? 
Like Mojang and Minecraft April Fool's updates. Yeah. Also got banned from TF2 Community Discord for posting a stock image. Hmm. Seems like after getting banned for that so many times, it, well, maybe, it's, maybe the servers are just ridiculous. I'll be suggesting an actual cast chicken boss fight on the forum maybe later this month. Gotta make some art for it. Okay, be cool. I mean, there is already the Kess boss mod, which is a really cool mod and it's fun for like about half an hour. But the problem with it is you really only see like the visual effects of it on the boss levels, but the audio is like on every wave. Every time you kill chickens, they're like, uh, 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 and it just gets so tiring so quickly. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Bye bye. This is that message that I have posted three times now. Okay, post it, man. Let me read it. I proposed a game mode where one player plays the boss chickens and the others are just trying to kill them. Really? That sounds, that sounds great. That was exactly what I was talking about. Well, I mean, kind of. I didn't necessarily think the boss chicken part of it, but still, that's a great idea. That would make for like a really fun like event mode too. Shapeshifter chicken. An act oh, I don't know if the he actually wants to do that though. An actual boss of you. Like a shapeshifter chicken. So what would it shape ship shift into Oh wait, I already know the answer. A jug of tea. Yes. Start sending, um, start sending little tea glasses in the shape of eggs. Cover you with like sticky tea. I don't know what the context of that would be, but I hope I'm not the only one dealing with IRL business in the middle of the game. Um, I don't know, man, you might be. <laughs> it's possible. And again, maybe not. Maybe someone else is talking on the phone while they're doing this. Real Window says, okay, I guess YouTube is doing something weird because I don't want to feel as if I'm spamming the same thing over and over. It's visible on my end. Sorry, man, I don't see your message. Maybe YouTube's deleting it. Maybe it's got some, some no-no words in it or something. But I don't, I haven't seen any message about the lottery other than that one I already read off. GG, let's go. Uh, I'll DM the config I use for Iron Man. Awesome, thank you, Liam. But I should say that it still demands a good level of ability since it doesn't involve dimensional phase-outs. All right. One of the attacks I had in mind was you'd be carrying a jug of tea and just dowsing people with it. You'd be slippery if touched by it. Oh, slippery, okay. It'd be like the opposite of uh, Quad's thing. That's an interesting idea, Pidgey. Or maybe a chicken boss that uses your own weapon against you. Oh, that would be cool too. Like it just grabs it and starts blasting it, but like does it poorly, right? Like it's a chicken who knows how to grab a weapon but doesn't necessarily know how to use it. I made something like that for a fan game. Cool. All right, guys, and there you go. All five missions are done. And assign a T-Squad, T-Squad. Gosh, assign a yeast and cheese. Good job, everybody. Okay, so now that we've done the big planet, let's go to the little planet. Orbit, a, orbit around it, do a few more missions. Arch Aching Dowser. Annual Circumscription and Sparse Fractionation. These are all pretty short. Um, real quick before we do these, let's do, uh, let's do another dare. I'm gonna try and, uh, try and perform a little bit better this time. Who should I challenge? What about this guy right above me? Sumini Toku. Nah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna dare someone who's a little bit farther away from me. Bigger gains, you know, bigger possibilities. Bigger chance of losses, too. Ooh. 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 Uh. 
Um, let's do this one. Okay. Here we go. I have an idea for an exclusive golden cuisine for chicken hunter wife. Golden cuisine. Interesting idea for us. There you go. It was a little crazy there at the beginning, but we got it. Flower power. It's only 10 waves, I can do this. Dang, yeah, but I missed the picking order up. Oh, wait a minute. That almost worked. No. Dang, yeah, it. I'm just really not very good at that. Also, I'm losing all those chips that are getting away, I think. What? Maybe not. Hey guys, I'm back. Welcome back, Theodore. Got some multi-kill bonuses, better than nothing. Marching on. All the metal structures and everything. Oh, this wave will destroy the opponent completely with the chicken knots. Oh, you think so, Emerald? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> It'd be nice to win one. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me think this through. Let's, let's give this a moment. Hold up. I still want I want to get the medal if possible. I want to take my time with this one. I do want to get that key too. That one's got. No, no, he, he dropped it. He dropped the key. Tisk tisk. There we go. Basically predicting when you're going to win the lottery is illegal. How so? Well, that was probably what you were trying to type and got deleted, didn't you? You can message me on Discord if you're having trouble sending it in chat windows, and I'll check it out later. Also, someone should have reminded him to bring a tractor. Oh, yeah! Ah, oh, I had them in my inventory, and I totally meant to, but I forgot. Dang, Nabbit. Thanks for reminding me, Liam. I'll need to remember that for next time. You just get in the habit of taking... Taking attractors with me. Oh my goodness, this is insanity. All right, let it cool down. Whoop, thanks for the coin. Thanks for the coinage. There you go. Waving in the breeze. Now KJ1 finished something else again. Good job, dude. Dang, yeah, but I was close to getting, uh... A whatchamacallit. A pecking order, and I messed it up. Hey, Positron stream is not the way to do it, though. Not Positron. Um... No, oh, whatever it's called. Um, pecking order can be harder with BX. Like, here the laser beams are killing two chicks at the same time. Yeah. Time doesn't matter. That's true. I can take my own t sweet time with it, can I? Hmm. Marching on has a pecking order depending on which way you're facing. If facing left, it's from the bottom up. And vice versa, if facing right. Okay. 
The key is in the chicken's belly. He digested it. <laughs> Pretty sure you won't mind about my friendly dare since I put stupid difficulty in it. Don't mind, don't mind at all, Jordan. Nice. Hey, at least I haven't died yet. Oh, crap. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. That was a bad thing to say. Especially on the level of Terminator chickens. Well, I'm through about a third of them so far, so... Yeah, nice try. I saw him crap. No! Dang, Nabbit! Come on! Dude, I was so close. I knew it'd be Terminator chickens that'd get me. I was trying to avoid that stupid fireball. I ran right into the egg. L in the chat. L in the chat, guys. Kess failed. Hashtag Kess fails. Collector's edition. For those of you who are collectors of fails. Photon Swarm, that's it. For whatever reason, I cannot keep that and Positron stream straight. Like, I know what Positron stream is. It's the big purple laser one. But for whatever reason, Photon and Positron just get mixed together in my head. You know? Yeah, nice try, dummy. What? <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Thank you. Come here. Come and get me. Come and get me. Alright, well, that's slightly disappointing, but hey, we can still we can still try. We can we can still maybe make it. Your opponent is definitely not doing this. You don't think so? You don't think he's gonna accept the dare? You think he's just gonna straight up reject it? What a pity. Dare challenge for nothing. Oh well, we'll see. I gotta move. Boom, baby! Oh. I knew that would happen. Of course, I was prepared. I was prepared for that. Absolutely. Grab the chicken, thank you. Dang it. Come on. Go around. There you go. Gotta move again, don't I? Yep. Perfect. All right, boss, and then we're good. You have coolants. Why were you afraid of the fireball? I don't know, Pidgey. I have. I don't have the faintest clue. Instinct, probably. wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to get all the shell. I guess that's probably pretty obvious. Nice. Right at the bottom of the screen, no less. Okay, GG guys. Hopefully a GG. I'm 88th place in the league. I used to be in the top 10. Ah, you've fallen from grace as well, huh, Plasma? Maybe the Iceman medal. Sadly, no. No Iceman medal for your boy. Well, there's that dare. We'll see how that one pans out, I guess. Um, props to KJ1, by the way, and Plasma. Hmm, okay. We got three more missions to do. Let's do it. A King Dowser is going to be our first one. And you already lost the Iceman. Yep. Yep. 
Just call the photon the fire and ice Q-tips. They look like, wow! Well, I shouldn't try to avoid asteroids and read at the same time. I'm not calling them that plasma, I'll never remember that. They don't look anything like Q-tips to me either. They look like many things, but Q-tips is not one of them. Q-tips that you should not totally stick in your ears. I mean, I'll put Q-tips in my ears to get out some of the gunk sometimes on the earwax, but other than that, I don't go digging around in there, trying to burst an eardrum. What, 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 what? Like them apples. Nice. Guess you should find a dare with the wave tangled mess in it. And have absolver beans for it. Ultimate satisfaction. Okay. I'll try that next time, Vinji. I do have the absolver beam in my inventory. I could I could definitely do that. What oh, was evading us, wasn't he? Oh, who'd we miss? We missed somebody. New cannon confrontation. All right. Oh, it's a oof. Yeah, big ol' oof. Oh, it's the hash browns. Oh, boy. Come on, guys. We're really close. They're like 90-something percent. There we go. GG. Woo! All right. Good stuff, guys. Uh, but for real, you shouldn't stick Q-tips in your ears. You're going to end up pushing the nasty stuff deeper. I guess you got a point there. What if instead of pushing it though, you're just kind of like revolving it around like a spinning car tire, just to kind of like brush up against it and brush it kind of out? Okay, here's a better question, Liam. What would you recommend instead? What would be a better stand in for Q tips? Because the only other way I. Wow, I ran right into that chicken crap, didn't I? The only other way I know how to get nasty gunk out of your ear other than a Q tip would be like hot water and just have it melt out and flow out. That's not always a very easy or practical solution. Dimensional portals. Here we go. Ah, oh, fine. It's the fire chickens again. Whoop. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. Perfect. Whoop. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Yes. Yes. Tord says, I'm playing bad right now, I feel tired. You should take a break, Tord, go get you some rest. Cause I know how it is, it's hard to play well when you're tired. Can you imagine how weird playing the Chick Invaders episodes would feel right now? Um, how weird it would feel? You mean like playing them in, in the game? Or just playing them after having played CIU for so long? Whoop. 
after CIU. Yeah, it would, it would seem a little strange. It would be kind of like a bit of a throwback, wouldn't it? Now, I'm done with three, four, and five, but I am gonna go back and play Shaken Invaders 1 again, both the original and the remaster. And I never really played through the original version of CI2, just the remaster of it. And KJ1 was always trying to get me to do it with the reverse mouse controls, so. I finally gave in, and I am planning on doing that at some point. Just haven't decided when yet. Because I got enough, I got enough to keep me busy as it is. In CIU, you know? That'll be fun. The installer for both CI, CI1 and installs both the remaster and the original version? Oh, that's cool. If you have, like, the best of both worlds, then you get the option for either. That's great. Dang, they're fast. They are fast. Nice. Good job, guys. GG. Woo woo. I'm gonna go. I honestly don't care much for CIU. All right, first camp. See you on a different one then. Do do do. Uh, apparently, with some vacuum pump thing. Really, a vacuum pump is gonna be better for your ears? This is not the worst idea ever. Having played CIU for so long, the bosses in the base games have just become meh, right? Tip for Mobius Strip. You can hide in the bottom left corner before the wave starts. Oh, okay. CI2 before remaster is much harder in some ways. I, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that at all. It'll make it an interesting experience. Because that is the one I played growing up before the remaster existed, obviously. But I never played the full game. I only played the demo version, you know? All right, guys, so real quick, I'm gonna go upstairs and take a quick bathroom break. When I come back, um, we'll go ahead and finish these next two missions, and we'll go find another planet and keep doing some more missions. Maybe do another, another day or two if we have time, a friendly one, a weak one, don't matter. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I will be right back, everyone, don't go nowhere.
Thank you again for waiting so patiently. I feel like I've taken a lot of breaks this stream. Didn't mean to, but it's just been one of those sorts of sorts of days, right? Oh man. Uh, CI2 before rematch. Oh, I read that already. It's safer than impacting the gunk inside your ear and ruining your hearing. True. Which is something I managed to do back when I was stupid. Ugh. Got it out, I hope. Find that dare with tangled mess and have absolver for it. Well, where would I find that dare? Just amongst anyone? Tangled mess. Tangled mess. Tangled mess. Oh yeah, everybody has different, different things, don't they? Do, 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 do. Oh, here's one. Oh yeah, with uh, darkness, no less. You think I should use the VF76 for it or just use the VX9 with the absolver beam? What do you think, Pidgey? Hmm. I won 40 races, apparently. 40? Good job, William. Your firepower is always halved when you die. So one or two, two deaths at max power are enough to lose it. Um, I still have a hundred race medals from before the meta changed. Dang, Emerald. I mean before condensers got reworked. Not reworked, I mean banned. It is impossible for me to join the server because with the visual impairment, I cannot solve the CAPTCHA to join the server. I set up an accessibility cookie, but it failed. Aw, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. That sucks. Water should be tea instead. I got some tea, man. Cass ate Taco Bell. Ugh, I did not. Taco Bell's gross. Now, that would have been an even longer break. I did, but actually, you don't want to know. Oh, okay. Use my mom. I have one space race metal wool. <laughs> Work harder. I am going to use BX9 for this, even though it's dark. I am going to use uh, the Absolver Beam, though. Ooh, I don't have the Absolver Beam. What? I thought I had it. I legit don't have it? But I think I did. I don't know. Well, I'll go ahead and buy it and I'll get upgrades for it later. Um, Pidgey, I think I'm gonna save that dare for another time. Cause I don't particularly relish the thought of running to a hero where to upgrade this at this particular point in time. So we'll save that for another day. For now, let's do annual circumscription, shall we? Seven waves, let's do it. No, it works with low power level too. Oh. Work harder. You actually called it Plasma's mom? Oh yeah, yeah, that's the name of the BF-76. William, did you miss that? It does a lot. It does a lot of damage. Oh, okay. All right, I'll give it a try then. If you insist, Pidgey, I'll, I'll give it a try. You, you've rarely ever stung, steered this, steered me wrong before in the past. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But first, let's finish the short wave squat walk, shall we? Make sure to do it right when the bubble comes down. The moment you see the bubble, let go. The moment I see the bubble, let go. Okay. Keep an eye out for the bubble. <laughs> Who's joined me? Oh, whoa. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, dang, nabbit. Where's the dogs barking at? Probably something stupid. Knowing them. Dang nabbit, dude. Gotta get charity. How embarrassing. Whoop! That was close. Woo! Let's go. GG, guys. Mine. Nice. It was quite fun playing with you. I hope there will be another day you start streaming the game, says Tord. Oh, I'm gonna be streaming Chicken Invaders Universe quite regularly, Tord. It is now a regular series on the channel again, good sir. Um, I assume he's back to streaming the game every week. Oh yes, oh yes. 
And I'd like to, um, I'd like to get to a point where I can take a week and take a given game series and just spend a week working almost exclusively on that, right? Like take a week and make a whole bunch of content for Doom and stream a bunch of that. Take a week and do the same thing for Chicken Invaders. Um, I'm just not at a place where I can manage that level of switch and output mode like in my current position, but that's kind of the goal, right? That's kind of where I'm trying to get to. But for now, a little bit of everything, including Chicken Invaders. Uh, Michael just uploaded a video on running Mac OS on the Nintendo Wii. Good for Michael. Make sure to do it right. Oh, I read that already. <laughs> the moment you see the bubble let go, be centered. For Space Race, it's better to just blow up in the middle of the screen, since beam isn't a good weapon for race. Unless there's a tuning fork and you can get a better weapon ASAP. All right. Um, what else we got? Oh, boss, boss brush, okay. I'm gonna do that league first against AT, I think. Yeah, Tangled Mess. Uh, fleet, loadout, Dissolver Beam. All right, Pidgey, let's give this a shot, shall we? Darkness, no less. All right, here we go. Lunch is making me drowsy. Perhaps I shouldn't have. Oh, you know something else I just realized? I, sh I definitely should have gone with the uh, with the BF76 because I forgot. Since this is a absolver beam that's not upgraded, I'm literally starting at power level zero. Given how short the stair is, I am very unlikely to uh, get higher than power level eight over the course of this anyway. I feel like I already made a mistake. I should've used Plasma's mom. Oh no. Whoop. What? Oh, that was just stuff about Tangled Mess. Yeah, he was talking about that one wave specifically. Okay, wave two of eight. I think Tangled Mess is wave six. Crap! Come on! Ah! Stupid. Eh, to be fair, I should have been seeing where it was going. This is a fine mess. <laughs> that spaceship was barely staggering along, wasn't it? Okay, don't mind if I do. Again, that's humiliating, but yet here we are. Yeah, this sucks. This sucks. Why on earth did I agree to do this? Ugh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to kill anything in this wave. feels that way when you're constantly trying to ooh. what if I'd line that up a little bit better dang it just get to tangled mess okay 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 fair enough okay hold it down this is the wind this is a tangled mess On the bright side, I got rid of some frozen, oh crap. I 
it said frozen. I meant to say uh, balloon. Got rid of some balloon chickens in one fell swoop. I miss the VF-76's night vision. I'll tell you what, guys. I miss it so badly. There was a danger zone. Was there? I didn't see it. Um... Anyway, the claws slow down round is silly. One of the in-game tips is to stick to the bottom of the screen unless told otherwise. Oh, this is painful. It is, isn't it? One of the worst waves for Absolver. Yeah, probably one of the worst waves ever for Absolver. <laughs> there probably isn't a worse wave for Absolver. What? Yeah, crap, crap, crap. I just let that one go, because I was about ready to overheat. Okay, he's out of the picture. Oh, thank you much. No! I switched off of the Absorber! Dude, and right before Tangled Mess, that's not what I meant to do! Are you freaking kidding me? I, I, no, I'm not gonna surrender, because that'll just make it worse. Ah, uh, sorry, Pidgey. Sorry, I, I botched this entire dare. Botched the entire thing. Ah. Uh, man, that pisses me off so much. What a stupid, stupid set of events. Uh, L in the chat, again. And it was such a good idea, too. Oh well. In session. Darn it. Absolver can't solve that wave. Yeah. Ugh. Well, that sucks. This is a sucky dare. I hope whoever I sent this to either doesn't see it. Or just better yet, just denies it. Just shows me a little mercy. Oh well. I guess it's even I guess we need painful learning experiences like this one. I swear the one dare, the one dare I go through. Don't pick up a single present. I'm like, oh I'm gonna save the absorber. Oh yeah! Yeah, I get to the end. Right when I need it. And no, uh, no. Yeah. It it just it just sucks. I don't even have words to describe it, it just sucks. Do it again and you get disqualified, aka your score is zero. Bear in mind you can only disconnect twice. Right, right, right. Of course. Imagine you win this dare. That would be insane, Pidgey. That would be pure insanity. There is no way I deserve to win this dare. If not even a little bit. If I, if I win this dare after all that, heaven help the other person. That's just sad. Yeah, I clearly don't think I'm ready to do daring again. I'm just, I just am not practiced enough in the intricacies, in the weapons, in any of that garbage. Hmm. Can you use only utensil poker on my dare? Lol. No. Bear in mind, you can only, oh yeah, I read that already. Okay. Let's go back and do some missions. Man. That's just, that's so disappointing. I'm so disappointed in that. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, you know what? Dang it. Cancel that. Forgot I needed to switch back over to the good weapon. That was why it was throwing me charity right at the beginning. Okay, let's go back to the Positron stream. I still need to upgrade the corn shotgun. We'll do that the next hero where we'll upgrade the Absolver Beam too. Sorry, Pidgey. <laughs> Didn't mean to botch up the tangled mess there. I'll try again in the future though. Ugh. Plasma's mom looks nice. Yeah, it's a good looking ship. I like the way that turned out. Nice. There we go. Emperor's Apprentice. Your 
low starting firepower puts you at a disadvantage since the points you get from collecting firepower does depend on your current firepower. Oh. That's interesting. I didn't even really know that. Or if I did, it hadn't entered my mind. In that particular instance. Yeah, it was just it was just a bad, bad idea. I shouldn't have even done the weak dare. What I should have done is just done the a friendly dare, just to like demonstrate what it was I was going for. But hey, I'll know better for next time, right? I'll have plenty of time to, uh, I'll have plenty of time to learn from my mistakes and correct them. Got a lot of chicken invaders ahead of us. Whoop! Did I die to that? I did. Magmatic Manipulator, here we go. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Yeah, it's just unfortunate that you must learn by failing. Sometimes it's what it takes. Sometimes failure is the best way to learn. Even if it's the most painful. The fact that the developer of Baldi's Basics and a subsequent franchise chose to name his company Basically Games suggests more Baldi content is branching to other paths beyond math problems. Maybe. Only time will tell, I suppose. All right, good job guys, another planet down. That is 15 out of 32 waves. Or missions, excuse me. Okay, so we have, let's see, we got those three, and that one. I guess we just have these three planets and then the two suns. Now this is an artificial moon, so if we were to find a double team mission in, in this star system, this would be our best bet. That's not what it is. This is Chicken Invasion. Grandiose Tater. Seven waves, 33 to 40% difficulty. Let's do it. But yeah, one-shotting the wave with beam is a huge dopamine rush you would love. Uh, we'll get there some point. We're just not gonna be able to rush it. It's very funny that Super Chick is replaced with Huge Buddy. That was very funny. Still screams like a chicken. Oh, it does. It does, Pidgey. Guess how's my ship? Ooh, nice. I like the colors. A plus, Pidgey. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. For a second, I thought he left because it showed somebody. Else. Okay, so that was Never mind. For a second, I was like, wait, did he just join and show me a ship? Oh, goodness. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nice. I swear, competitive events in CIU always help kind of reinforce in my mind how much of a long way I still have to go. End it like that. Attack of the giant crab. Attack of the giant bomb. Now that's a chicken invader's boss right there. All right, easy peasy. Good job, guys. Sign. There we go. All right, let's move on. This one is Sai Aura. Mediocre cup pool. Oh, exploration reward. That's what that is. KJ1, plasma, KJ1, plasma. Nice. All right, three new missions. Two squawk block, one chicken invasion. 
mediocre cup full, important bath, and made up metaphysician. Okay, let's do it. So let me ask you guys something. If you had to, if you had to pick a least favorite mission type, what would it be? Would it be Squawk Block or would it be something else? Because like Squawk Block isn't my favorite, but it's kind of nice as a change of pace. You know what I mean? Probably darkness. Theodore, that makes sense. Darkness is like the most aggravating one. Most we had high difficulties. Yeah. Especially at high difficulties. Only thing I ever do it is if it appears in a cup of root magic. Oh, Comet Chase! I forgot about Comet Chase. Yeah, especially at high difficulties. And you only do them if you play in a group cup match. Darkness, no question. Group cup match, and then comments for Pidgey. I actually kind of forgot about comments. You know what the thing is? I don't dislike comment ones at all. I wouldn't say I love them, but they're so, they're so nostalgic for me because of how much time I spent playing Chicken Invaders 3. Just kind of got me to the point where I don't mind it, you know? Droid Raid is boring. Yeah, Droid Raid is boring. Emerald. Dang, Nabbit. Droid Raid is... Droid Raid's actually more boring than Retro Invaders, right? I mean, like, it's fun for a couple of missions, but then, it just, then you just get tired. But yet it's so useful because of all the food you make. So if you're farming food, Droid Raid's where it's at. Those days are behind me. The only time I do it is if I get to silent. Fair enough, Liam. Comet chases are fun when you're dodging is good. True. It's really hard with a BX9, though. <laughs> of course, then again, dodging is good. Real Windows says, are you going to be playing any games from PopCap? Oh, yeah. I actually already have one. Does have already played a couple of games from PopCap. Are you familiar with Feeding Frenzy? Actually, I A did... I A did change the sound of the bunny dying, but we won't be able to hear it. Because. Nice, key. Okay. We won't be able to hear it until Easter of next year, but it sounds like this. This, 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 this. Oh, I can't wait to hear that. Squawk block equals better droid raid. Um, I can see that, Liam, yeah. Not as plentiful in food, but mo far more entertaining. Crazy Squawker. Oh, this guy. For a moment, I always get this one confused with the laser one. This is like the easy version. Owned. Well said, Luigi. GG, guys. Droid raids are so slow, though. Hey, you gotta just sit there and wait for them to come out. If I had to choose a favorite mission type, it's tied chicken invasions and boss rush. Probably would be mine too. I do like... I do like supernova missions. But they're like squawk block to me, right? They're fun to like break up the other missions with. They're not something I just like to do over and over again. I'd say chicken invasion and boss rush probably the same for me. A tie between those two. Is the bunny having a stroke or is it beatboxing? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That kind of sounds like beatboxing. Apparently, Bejeweled seems to still be under development, despite them being bought by EA, who then ruined the company. Huh. Are they making mobile titles now? Because that's where I would see it going. CI1, Big Chicken. Yep. I probably did not spell that right just now. Bejeweled? Nah, you nailed it. Crazy Squawker. 
Double teams. Double teams are fun. Of course, they're rare too. When will the bunny go skibbity, skibbity dap? Skibbity dap. That'd be funny. Ladies and gentlemen, we present for your entertainment tonight the rapping bunny. And then it turns out he's not actually beatboxing, he's just wrapping up presents. Full of weapons, you know, he's putting weapons in presents. That's the rapping bunny. Oh, that'd be stupid. It'd be so stupid it would work. Nice, let's go! Beautiful. That's how you wear on a squawk block, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta check out the quest progress after this. Ah, the crap chickens. See how far along we've come at all. Wow, right? A giant cloud of gases. Only cowards, then only toxic. Amazing combo. Phoenix. Chili wings? <laughs> Crazy squawker again. Wow. What? There we go. Nice. I had to use a cool one, but it was worth it. GG, guys. Speed running squawk block. Hey, 42 seconds. Definitely a speed run in my book. All right, that has been assigned, and now, not squadrons. Although, hey, mad props to everybody. You guys are doing a great job. Um, except Steve. I'm gonna have to kick Steve out, because he hasn't done a single assignment. Sorry, Steve. Uh, on the bright side, there's an open slot if anybody else would like to join. Uh, <laughs> quests. Ooh, we did everything except for the kill enemies. We might get that done before the end of the stream. Only time will tell. Uh, made up metaphysician. This is 27 waves. This is gonna be a big one. Let's do it. Imagine if your desktop icon suddenly came to life and started causing chaos on your PC. That would be like an interesting low budget horror movie, would it not? Good job, Cass. Right, right into the portal. Right into the portal, my dude. Very smart. Very big brain. I swear. Sometimes I make mistakes so silly, even I don't understand them. Cheer it, Bob! Quadrant assignment reward. Woo -woo. Body with a chance of eggs. I always do the assignments after the stream. Good deal, Pidgey, I appreciate that. So does Plasma use usually, which whatever ones he hasn't finished during the stream. I'll like log in the next day and there'll be like 20 plus watcher and assignment reward. Items and I'm like, dang, these guys are on it. Dang, dude. Sorry to steal your stuff. Checkerboard strut, here we go. Look, 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 look. I'm the highest score. Yeah, you are, Loe, good job. I'm gonna grab that real quick. Oh, just in time, no less. Oh, it's like a vending machine. Oh, fun. And there's a bunch of satellites. Oh, crap. Thank you. Skewmeister says, actually, I think there's an actual desktop goose that does that. Oh, he's responding to Windows comment. Now I'll have to read Windows comment. 
to go with these asteroids first, though. Nice. Windows says a man. Oh, I read that already. Oh, you mean actual desktop goose that does that? Oh, like uh, like an icon or like a program that actually does cause chaos. Does anyone here remember Bonsai Buddy? You want to remember that little program, that infamous little piece of uh, adware? Everyone had satellites before the boss. Oh, crud! I mean to hog all the power-ups, but I foolishly died a couple of times trying to get my level back up. What would Discord do? Stare at you? Probably. Or it would message all your friends something you didn't want them to know. I think if I'm trying to think of an evil Discord, that's what comes to mind. I say that's what comes to mind. Dang nabbit, I can't freaking navigate. Ugh. You know what I mean? Even when I do steal the power-ups, I just get knocked right back down again. Freaking nabbit. You can see Discord would be causing Discord. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Twitter would just be chirping. Annoying way, probably. Probably. Then again, who has a desktop shortcut to Twitter? I mean, I have one for Gmail. I certainly don't have one for Twitter. I'm not on Twitter that often. Come on, dang it! Hey, move in time. I'm trying to avoid that laser, but no cigar. Dang it, that satellite got away from me too. No satellites, come back! I got a couple. I'll take it. Interdimensional portals. Dang, Nabbit. Threw right at me. Oh, man, I need to start using some more of my power-ups, I think. I'm getting, I'm getting destroyed otherwise. Clucker bombs! How do you like them apples? Use the absorber beam for a moment while I'm at it. Discord bringer of Discord. Parking. Okay, you have fun with that, bitchy. <laughs> you stole it, okay. Wake me up when it's over. I'm a big fan of the portal missions, huh, Pidgey? What? What was that? That was some stupid falling spaceship nonsense, I'll bet you. Oh, hey, funny enough, I got another power up by picking up the absorber beam again. Okay. And there's another, another, what should we call it? Very sad, very sad. Best wave. This is, this is a nightmare. This is like portals joined together with and became spokes in a wheel. That's basically what it is. Bonzi is actually still heavily popular today now that servers have been shut down permanently as of 2016. Oh, the Yoke Star. Oh, fun. The ultimate enemy. Just trying to spam it to keep the chickens from coming. Woo! Okay. So 
So far, so good. <laughs> Just gotta take out the stupid yoke. Oh, man. How about an icon for Reddit? I don't have one of those either. I, I'm probably on Reddit less than I am Twitter, to be honest with you, at this point. Steam would make your screen steamy. Oh, of course, naturally. All right, good job, guys. That was rough. Do the backstroke. Oh, this. Of course. There we go, I switched over to blasters. That'll do for the moment. Oh, and I'm back to power level 13, too. I'm better. Asteroid Vortex. What about Internet Explorer? Internet Explorer doesn't exist anymore. They got rid of it. Like on Windows 11, you can't even get Internet Explorer. I guess there's IE compatibility mode. That doesn't really count, that does it. Ah, oh, this is getting this is getting increasingly uncomfortable. Did I die? I did. Dang nabbit, I thought I was watching my back. Crap a rooney with cheese. Ah. Safe zone, but the asteroids can get in the safe zone. Nice. More or less, Pidgey. Wait, there's a pecking order on metal? Oh, that's news to me. Huh. Good job, guys. What would YouTube do? You'd play a video, obviously. Probably one in the background that you didn't really want to hear, but you couldn't figure out how to turn off. I said safe zones are only for your positioning at the start of the way. Ah, that makes sense. Doesn't have to apply later. Right, just the starting off safe zone. If Steam emitted Steam, then people would not be able to play their favorite games, such as Gmod, Portal, and Half-Life. Ah, ha, ha. Get Clucker Bomb, dummies. They can fence me in. All right, guys, two more waves to go. Make that three. Three more waves. Woo! Nice, that was easy. Oh, and more satellites, even better. Hammer time! Oh, it's a bloody hammer. <laughs> this is insanity. Oh, crap! Bloody hammer got me. Dang nabbit, you bloody hammer. Okay, I'm back up to max power level, though. Of course it's a bloody hammer. It is. Oh no, it's Claude. Dr. Beaker, man. Yes. Yes, that's right. No, please, no. No, go away. Yeah, there we go. GG, guys. Well done. He cute. Yeah, he was cute. Mission complete. Thanks, everyone. Great work. Should have done the Adrian bathroom dance, but oh well. In short, I Explore now redirects to MS Edge. Yeah, more or less. The Internet Explorer internal file was probably kept in Windows 11 due to compatibility reasons, as some UI elements are heavily based on IE rather than Edge. Makes sense. But in far, as far as actually using it, it just redirects. Okay. Another planet done? Which means we only got this one and the two suns left to do. And then we'll be done with another star system. 19 out of 32 missions. I mean, we got 13 left to go. Wow. It's insane. And you can even see the star systems in little clusters. And you can see we did 60 out of 273. Over here, we did 179 out of 179. That's, that's my most proud accomplishment. So uh, I guess we'll do this one next. Get the rest of these missions done. Go back to the orange one, do those work our way back through some of the ones we've explored but haven't actually started doing missions in. Little by little. So we're going to take over 
the entirety of the map. It's gonna take a lot of time, because there's a lot of star systems out there. But man, I'm having fun doing it. All right, guys. Well, real quick, let's go ahead and do another dare. Uh, Tord. I would do yours. Oh, you know what? You must be score 1.24. Okay, I thought this was like plasmas and it was zero. Oh, the difficulty's at zero. Oh, okay. All right, Tord, I'm gonna do your dare. Um, and since you requested it, I'm going to start off with forks. I don't have forks. Now I do. Okay, I'm going to start off with forks. And I'm gonna see how far I can get along. Hopefully without changing weapons, but we'll see. We'll see if I can beat ya. Toward. Oh my. Ah, uh, ho ho, forgot about all the wives I, I lost. Whoops, buy some more of those while we're at it. If I'm not mist- Kess remembering names, or trying to. Oh no, it's Claude, Dr. Beaker Man. <laughs> Claude Beaker sounds like a cool name. Right, it sounds like a secret agent name or something. My name is Beaker. Claude Beaker. If I'm not mistaken, Microsoft also pushed out an update that removed IE on Windows 7 and 8. I didn't know that either. Hmm. Dang, there's more of this game than I thought. Oh, there is Scoopmeister. Yeah, this this game is a little bit more involved than people rightly give it credit for. So it took me a while to learn the ins and outs of it, and there's still a lot I have left to learn. Oh, this is bad. Bad, son. We'll try anyway, though. Yeah, at least it, the difficulty's not very high. Hey, metal, sweet. Good for me. Another bright side to being low level, right? This is excellent practice, although I kind of messed that one up. I guess if it's just two, then that's too short for a pecking order. Makes sense. Claude from GTA 3 turned into a chicken and a doctor. Uh, why, why, why Claude from GTA 3 though? Why not GTA 2 Claude? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, well, I guess neither one of them really speak, do they? Hmm. Hmm. Nah, GTA 3 Claude's more memorable. I say let's go with him. For Amphitheatrix, right to left. For the pets. Right to left for the pets. Right. You did tell me that. Or one of you did. Dang, who'd have thought a job at Quack and Bow would have taken him down such a rapid time? Oh man. That's something I never understood. How come CJ how come you never got the option to work at Cluck and Bell when you were playing San Andreas? Like a CJ, right? You got to do basically every other job in the game, but you never got to serve people their chicken. Kind of disappoints me. Dang it, I keep messing this up. Oh well. Oh, yeah, now I'm definitely not getting it. Oh, maybe. I'm getting, I'm getting half of it. Well, one of it anyway. <gasps> okay, so what score do I have to beat? 1.2 million something? I'm still not doing this right. Okay, I give up. You said right to left, or... Oh, lower and then upper. I see. That is really hard to do. Especially with the lightning. 
clean sweep. That's that's good for something too. Rectangular layouts. Here we go. Hello, Cass. What's up, Deadly Kevin? Welcome to the stream, sir. Playing some good old Chicken Invaders Universe today, as you can see. All right, final boss battle. Here we go. Dang it, now I want some chicken. You know, I can't lie. Chicken doesn't sound half a pound right now. Oh, that was easy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, GG. I should have gotten the magnet again, although this is probably a two level, level of dare for a magnet, but still. I hope that's tea and not coffee. This is tea. I don't know who would drink coffee in a glass like this. 1.127. Still came up a tad bit short, ladies and gentlemen. Well, uh, at least I didn't die. <laughs> at least I got some medals for the effort. Man. Well, oh, GG, Tord. Mm -mm -mm. I gotta get, uh, I gotta practice on dares. I really do. Well, keep sending me dare requests, guys. Be they friendly or weak. I'll, uh, I'll keep getting on them. Keep practicing. Try to, uh, Work on my skill a little bit. Get up to a point where I can effectively compete again, if you know what I'm saying. Ooh, we are so close. We are so close to getting that done. But I guess we're going to have to save it for next time because, unfortunately, this is the end of this episode. Episode 24 of Chicken Invaders Universe, A Rise to the Top series. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. I hope you all enjoyed the stream. Thank you for 22 likes. Um, thank you all for playing with me, for helping me with all your suggestions, your tips, helping me get that BF76 Raven. Um, I've just had a blast playing Chicken Invaders Universe again. This being the second time I've streamed it since like last year. And uh, I can't wait to keep playing more of it. This week, I am gonna be logging back in every day and competing in Galactic Cup, at least till I get thrown out of it. I may or may not record that and then turn it into a video. It really depends on how much time I have, what else I got going on. Not gonna make any promises I can't keep. When I do log on, I'll do my best to assign a couple of missions for Yeez and Cheese as well. To keep, keep you guys going, give you some stuff to do, maybe at least keep us semi-competitive. Um, as far as like actually getting to the top squadron of the week, I honestly think I'm just gonna need to set a week aside and just stream Chicken Invaders every day so that I can just send out tons and tons of assignments, and then maybe, just maybe, we can get at the top of the list. Because we're not even at the top 10. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys again for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna read the chat, and then we'll end the stream here. Win GTA Gosh Mode. I have no idea what that is, Deadly Kevin. This is some action-packed music, isn't it? Anyway, it's been a long time to see you. It has, man. After I played Team Fortress 2 and Community Slender Fortress. Well, I haven't played Community Slender Fortress in a long time. Someone asked Cleverbot whether they like chickens as pets, and it replied with no vegetarian. Yeah, that's clever, all right. Bye, everyone. Bye, Theodore. Thanks for being here, buddy. Arnav says, oh, just came here again. Ah, tuned in right near the end. Well, thank you, Arnav, for tuning in, buddy. Appreciate you being here. And uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in today. And thank you for welcoming me back to Chicken Invaders Universe, because I'm having a great time being back. Anyway, guys, I got some videos to work on. I uh, also got to go deliver some pizza this afternoon. I will be back tomorrow morning doing Saints Row 2022. That'll be my next stream. And uh, next Chicken Invaders Universe stream. Haven't decided when it'll be. You know the drill. I'll make a thumbnail, put up a watch page. I'll give you guys some advance notice. Anyway, everyone. Thank you again for tuning in. Until next time, I've been your host, Kess Gaming, and I will see you all at the top.